Hello. 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 Do we still remember how to do this D and D thing? Nope. Yeah. But no. Which one's the one that you roll? Is it the uh, whole bag? I think you roll all them at bag? the same time and just pick whichever one do you like best. Do I just you throw pick my the bag highest number? Just pick, no. throw my bag against the wall and just hope. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. It's I mean, really no off topic. All the same. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I think there's a <laughs> that's there's a Kickstarter at the moment. There's a Kickstarter at the moment for a, a tabletop system where basically they fucking like each class has their own die oh, so really? like one class rolls like a d4 uh like a dictator class i think because it's like a pyramid like, hit and like yeah and like um i think it's like a there's like a wild magic style sorcerer thing that rolls a d20 because it's chaotic and unpredictable and shit like that it's cool interesting all right hey gamers we're back Welcome to Dungeon Select. Holy shit, we're here. Uh, two week hiatus. The f f first week because I just was really fucking sick, and then the second week, turns out Father's, Father's Day, Day was a thing, and I definitely didn't forget about that. So, um, <laughs> and a couple of us, you know, made arrangements with family and all that stuff. Did all the Father's Day things, but we're back now. Hello. Hey. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for the subs and all that stuff, by the way. Appreciate ya. A lot. Um... Before we kick things off, any announcements? Anybody? Oh, fuck. I mean, you know it, as always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, first of all, belated happy birthday to Ethan and Koiba. True. Their birthdays like We're just happened. I'm not <laughs> um, but the two announcements: one, it's less than a week until my Call of the Nether Deep campaign starts next weekend, Saturday. Let's go. So if, you, if you watch that and watch Dungeon Select, you get a double D and D weekend. True. And I play in that one, guys. That's me. Yeah. I play. Dutch gets to be a player. Reminder, it's going to be on my channel, not on the Dungeon Select channel. So make sure you go over there on Saturday. Uh, Saturday at noon, July 2nd. Going to be a good time. Get to meet some yeah. new characters and see what kind of adventure we're going on. And then the other announcement is next week, uh, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, impromptu charity fundraiser for 48 hours, Monday and Tuesday streams. It's not a 48 hour stream before anyone. I can't, I can't do that. I'll die. I, I would die. But, um, uh, there will be streams on both those days, uh, raising money for the ACLU, American Civil Liberties Union, I think it's called, uh, which are basically fighting back against all the bullshit happening in the States right now. The whole... Um, women losing rights to their own bodies and healthcare, as well as other like uh, racial LGBT rights. It's kind of like uh, fighting against all the bad things organization, but they're focusing really hard on the Roe v. Wade situation right now. So we'll be doing a charity stream for that. And it's a fucking mess. Lots of things that will cause me pain. So it should yeah. be a good time. This is the world's spiciest gummy bear. Oh, no. And this is a really spicy lollipop called the Toe of Satan. Nice. And if we raise enough, I have to eat both of them. Get to, so, get to Laura, it. watch Satan's Laura toe suck picks. some toes, baby. Let's go. Who'd have thought? Laura out here sucking Satan's toe for free. No, for charity. <laughs> for charity, right? Less than free. Money for someone else. Or is she paying to do it? Just make that specific section pay per view. <laughs> Just that part. <clears throat> Uh, Anyways, those are my announcements. Hell yeah, I'm excited for that shit. It's gonna be fucking fun. I I submitted my character backstory. It was it wasn't very in depth, but I feel like it's enough to kind of like you know have an have a vibe it's, it's of, of of what yeah. the character is. Um, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be sick. I'm excited. Hog. Anyone else with some announcements? I know Duke probably will has will have some stuff to say about a certain thing. Yeah. Last interview episode of the podcast is out. Ooh, Duke Loves yeah. Things podcast is a podcast where we learn things. We had Rocket Sage on to teach us about geology, and it was really fucking interesting, actually. So we talked about licking rocks. It was a good time. It was about Super licking fun. rocks. Putting dead it was about in rubbing mouth. rocks on teeth. Yeah. Uh, but you know the big questions, the small questions, everything in between. Uh, it was a really, really good talk. So uh, it's on Spotify. It's on wherever you get your podcasts, and on YouTube. And the highlight is also on my Twitch channel. But yeah. Beautiful. Hell yeah. Very excited. Do we know who the next guest is? Can you tease guest number two? Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Steve, right? No. The rest of it'll the probably, it'll schedules. hopefully be this week, but uh, I'm not saying who yet because I mean, they'll probably okay. be stricken with a curse. Yeah, you're, if I you're all cursed, cursed and hype it up. man. It's yeah. fucking cursed it's as fuck. Literally, so you never cursed. announce who it is. Just say you're live it's with it. It's a mystery guest it. every week. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> 
every time is a fun surprise. Yeah. God. Hinder egg. Like, yeah. I definitely can't have Bellon because she'll literally die. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Don't do that. Would be a It'll really be cool nah, like, podcast fine. though, right? Learning about like fucking filmmaking and shits, you know? It's pretty interesting, right? She's there on the so list, many things, but there are so point, many things I could talk about. <laughs> she's on the list, but right now she's not coming in. Bell fucking hit me up on uh, LinkedIn not so long ago, and I'm like, wow, this is really official all of a sudden. Like, well, actually, fuck? it was Sassy, because Sassy took Bell over my LinkedIn you, to Bethlehem set it up Mist, for me. wanted to connect yeah, to me on me. LinkedIn, and I was like, what the fuck? I didn't get yeah. a LinkedIn invite. Offended? Oh, right. Did you not? Oh, I'm Sassy. Because I <laughs> kept not doing it, and she was getting angry. <laughs> Um, Soko's not here, by the way, but he's in chat. Hey, Soko, but he's uh, he's he's busy. He just moved, which uh, I think went well, maybe. Went to Tampa. Hopefully, he, uh, he's a, he's he's an actual Florida man now, which uh, just no, fits she was already so well. It makes so much At sense. Right? I, I just like to bring back that this, we had a discussion, and I think it was on 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 the DS channel where Soko went on like a fucking rant and a rave about how dope Florida how is, how great Florida is, yeah. And yeah. Then he lives there. It's it, it was, that was like before plans of him moving to Florida were, were like a thing. So like it's just it's fucking funny. It's great. It fits really well. That's well funny. That's well funny. How many headlines? He just said he might be moving to Arkansas. 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 America, explain. <laughs> No, from Clip in Kansas. Arkansas, never let her live it down. <laughs> Literally <laughs> a reference. <laughs> no, it's funnier I'm to sure run with the story that you made a dumb dumb. Uh, you and now you're pulling the Soko. That's the joke. The joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, before anyone asks, because I know you're all dying to ask the question, Ethan did get a, in fact get a new lens for his camera. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you joke, but I had to warn Sassy because she was like, I don't like it when you change your setup. Because <laughs> no one was saying in chat, but like my DMs are blowing out. Like, yeah, no, did, did see my DMs are so uh, uh, That's not what I was going to announce, actually. Oh, no, 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 go on. Yeah. Go on. What? I pregnant. What I was going to announce is, well, it's not really an announcement, but uh, uh, thanks to, to Virus because he bought me the Ooh. fucking sold out, impossible to get from official retailers fucking Vampire the Masquerade 5th edition rule set. That's so he's missing a, that he's missing a kidney. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, he probably is. Someone somewhere bought a German kidney on the market. <laughs> but, uh, the Wait, second page in the book says cuckold, so we know it's going to be a good read. It's going to what? Hey. What did it say? Sorry. The second page in the book says cuckold. So you know I'm it's bricked the fuck up already. Let's go. And be one uh, sticky book. Mm. Now I have. You say that there's some there's some hot vampires in this book. The second page of the book says cuckolds, and it's for some reason stuck to the third page. <laughs> also, Amy <laughs> Winehouse yeah. house is in this book. Oh the Jesus! Fuck? The fuck, dude? What Amy Winehouse now or what are you doing? back then? No. Hey, um. <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm excited to get back into doing things. We left things on a bit of a, I don't know, cliffhanger sort of oh, kind dude, of. Wait! Just a big like a big like lore drop for at least one person in like in the party that has some fucking things to think about now, but uh, because it's been two weeks, you know, give you a little recap. You know, party went to Silverkeep to save Valor, who has been captured uh, after being found out by the Nightwebs. Um, you guys fought your way through the um, upper floor of the keep. Fought some some guards, fought some you know moving statues, you know the variety of things got 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 fought, um, and a particularly um, cocky captain as well. Uh, and at the end of it all, you met, you found Valor, freed him, and it turns out that um, the overlying plan of the Nightwebs have has something to do with what is called the override that is really all all you know at this point in time you also found a list of names which you don't know whether they are targets or or potential uh you know targets for assassination or targets for potential recruitment you don't know but you got a list of names of some particularly high profile people um on that list um yeah you free valor he looks very malnourished uh does not have his belongings on him and he mentioned that you know they'll probably be somewhere in the fort still um I will fucking we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. I have uh, a, a a quick uh, a couple of questions. Uh huh. <laughs> Just the chests that we found. I can't. Remember, did we leave them in that room or did we no. take them? 
Three you put two of the chests two. in the bag of yeah. holding, and the bag of yeah, holding's okay. maxed out. Right, that's yeah. why I thought about this one. I was like, and then we the had other that conversation. Sure we opened. Yeah. Yeah. Then know when we opened, and we wonder if we were if we like, we said we maxed out the bag holding, or if it was yeah. like, oh no, the bag holding's maxed out. We compliment. That's cool. Yeah, you maxed out because you put those two, two, two chests in. Like, just a character question as well for like you guys. No one's like looked in my belongings, right, at all. Like, I don't think so. Ever. But Bell? now we're gonna. Bell? No, no, it, no, no. Question it's, it's not Bell? because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, Bell. like, yeah, you've not like looked in Elastin's like bag at all, and I've not like we've, I've, I've not done an inventory previously to you guys, right? That's just basically because there's some no shit. other than there's it's it's there's just because I've read books. stuff I said to Dutch. It's like, oh yeah, fuck, I do have that on me. <laughs> yeah, you have like a really big fucking book that you keep trying to like subtly not have poke out the top of your bag, but. It doesn't. Nobody's I got a bigger bag. Rummaging. You bought a bigger bag. You know, it fits now. You got a bigger bag. It fits in now. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Just needs... Yeah, man's Ready? walking around with the freaking Necronomicon just hanging out his backpack. It's a sure. sordid collection of religious butt plugs. Got an extensive collection. Yeah. <laughs> Hidoki. Um, every, every deity is symbol as you've never seen it before. <laughs> I will... I will have gone up to Val and I'd probably be like, with whoever else, if anyone else, just like propping him up. Like, leaning as a shoulder to lean on. Appreciate it. I, um, you know, just give me, uh, nothing a, a good night's of rest won't fix, but, uh, suggest get out of here first. Preferably time. after we find my belongings. I feel a bit, uh, naked. And he looks down, and you see he's only wearing a loincloth, like all of his other shit got stripped from him. And I'll I'll sign to um, uh, cast uh, ask her to pull out the map that we have of this place. I will do that, and I'll point to um if because I saw the images up um area number fifteen, which is basically like the southwest. It was a southwest section of rooms and hallways. I don't think we looked at, and then sign to cast maybe Valor stuff is in there, because we haven't found it yet. Yeah. I suppose it would be the best place to start. I mean, wouldn't hurt. And also, you can try and get rid of more people. How confident are you that you've uh, cleared out the fort? Because oh. Probably like a 4 out of 10. C confidence, yeah. 4 out of 10, but... Hmm. I think we got most of them, right? I gave him one of my short swords, didn't I? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, he has he has a short sword yeah. to at least defend himself with, okay, if if need be. How did you manage this this, this fort? Last I knew, was filled to the brim with with guards. Not anymore. We um. I had a bit of an idea. Or... No, 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 no. Just the one we've seen. We. Someone we know uh, was supposed to basically sell us out. And was having their office listened to, so we decided to talk at length loudly about our plans to go to somewhere else. Gave him a day to fuck off down the road, and then came up here. Not too bad. Not too bad. So that gives That's us about a, a day idea. to get some distance between us and the fort before they return? Basically. Which means we probably assuming, don't want to be you know, heading. That is, that is assuming they find out your, your ruse right away, right? So like, if they don't, then might it might be more. Yeah, we might have, be at the very least, a day's head start, but we better not go west. Not go west, right. I... Where are, where are you planning to head? What direction? The sea! So, south? South. Yeah. South. There is a village on the way to the south. Um, I don't know if it's on the way that mm -hmm. you're deciding to go. Hold on, quickly. I opened the wrong map. <laughs> Don't so quirky. Um, it's a village. It's called uh, Northbury. Is that on the way, per chance, of where you're headed? Yeah. I mean, we can pass through very either way. I have a, I have a, a safe house there, which, uh, to my knowledge, nobody knows about. Where I could at least, you know, provide you with a roof for the night and some supplies for the road. And if we can make it there, that's probably where we will go our separate ways. If that is all right. Yes. It's yeah, plausible, it's but I mean, is it a great idea to go our separate ways when they're probably going to be looking for you? Well, I mean, what do you suggest? Go... 
Safe house is a safe house. Hmm. Till it's not. I just signed a cast. I signed a cast. Has Brooks forgotten we're becoming pirates after this? I don't think Valor wants to be involved. Yeah, Dagon's saying we're going to become pirates. So, like. You're becoming pirates. Yeah, we're going to go we're going sailing. sailing and we're going to become We're pirates. going on a treasure hunt. Realistically, we are. Pirates implies that we're going to be thefting from other ships. We're just going to be. Well, we might. Collecting. I, I just historic... pointedly look at Kess when he says we might be thefting. And I'm just. And then look back at Brooks. We're just going to collect a very historic valuable and put it somewhere where it's going to be. Well, safe for I, um, future generations to appreciate. I and steal stuff. Like to think I'll be fine on my own, but um, if, I'm not going to self-invite. So we'll leave that up to you, I suppose. But uh, if, if anything, my plan is to um, duck down in Northbury for a day, gather my belongings, and uh, just lay low for a little while. Yeah, we'll see how you feel after, after a few days rest. If you be a lot to tagging along, and I'm sure an extra pair of hands won't hurt, but... No, I'll leave that up to you. It's, uh... If anything, I mean, as far as laying low goes, uh, I don't know where you're thinking of sailing, but if you just open ocean, then... That is pretty That is pretty low, I suppose. Well, I believe they call them the high seas, but... <laughs> like, he, like, laughs and he's like... <clears throat> like, grabs his ribs, he's like, oh! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even by your general standards, Davian, that was bad. Right, let's go find this man's stuff. I'm tired of looking at his <clears throat> cock and balls hanging out. Hanging out. Um, yes, I mean, I'll, I'll stay behind you for now, if you don't mind. All right, come along, then. And I'll uh, sort of usher Onu ahead out of the sort of that narrow passageway and out into the uh, mm -hmm. corridor. So you're heading back, basically heading back to the to the chamber where you fought those, like, living statues, um, right, if I remember correctly? That's what uh, that was? Yeah, because you want to go... 15, right? left, 15. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to go two yeah. chamber 16 and then up and to the left. Okay. Uh, I would like to be looking for traps when we get into that corridor to um, 15. Uh, yeah, the the door that that opens into that corridor um, is unlocked. If you want to look for traps or at any point, just uh, make an make an investigation check with advantage because you're you, you have those glasses, right? Yeah, my eyes of minute seeing. Uh, investigation sixteen. Sixteen. As far as you can tell, in that initial like initial corridor uh, that leads to another door, uh, no traps. As far as you can tell. Okay. Uh, is is that door at the end trap then, or is it locked? Or uh, both. Make another investigation check. Oh, dirty twenty. Uh, not trapped, but it's it's it is locked. Did we find keys on? We got the keys for his, his manacles. We right? can go back we... and look at the bodies of the people we well, fought. We, before we got finding the keys him. off the guard captain for the guy's shackles, but they were magical. Is that is that right? So yeah, the manacles that uh, Valor was being, like, were used to, to bind Valor were definitely magical of some description. Um, right. And you found a small magical key that, that fit that lock, yeah. So no, like, big key ring or anything? No. Okay, so I don't suppose you can get this open. It's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I'll go do that. Okay. Uh, make a check with your thieves' tools, Will. So... <laughs> Uh, D20 dex proficiency bonus. Okay. We yeah. have. <laughs> 18. 18? Yeah. Light work. You stick uh, your thief's tools in, start wiggling a little bit, and you hear this very satisfying click. Voila. Et voila. What lies beyond? Ah, oh, I'm so talented. <sighs> uh, what lies beyond uh, is another bit of corridor that seems to be uh, splitting off to both the left and the right. Um, 
<clears throat> you can see as you kind of edge towards the end of the corridor, you can see that the path that to your right goes around another corner. You can see that the path to the left has a couple of like indents on the right hand side. We hear anybody? Make a perception check. Oh, it's 25. As far as you can tell, you don't hear anything. It's very quiet. Dead quiet. In that case, I'll take the... I'll just keep walking and take the first left towards those two indents and have a little look. Um, these indents seem to be some kind of, like, seating areas. Um, there's some, some chairs kind of sat against the back wall. Um, not much else there, as far as you can tell. The chairs, do they move? Are they just wooden, like, are they fixed to the floor or not? No, you can, you can move them around. You can shuffle them around if you want to. I guess I'll just well, kind of toss them out of the way and investigate the indents to see if there's anything worth, or anything of note. Make another investigation check. While you're searching, I'm going to ask Kess to ask Valor um, what is his normal method of or means of defending himself, because there's there's an extra quarterstaff chilling that I left downstairs mm. if he wants to go get that. Well, anything you've seen my former student do, I can do, but a little better, I'd like to say. Um, combining that with just a sword is so, so pretty much okay. my uh, my forte. Being better than a Lazarin is quite a low bar, to be honest. Like, do I I'm right feel, here. Should I feel like I'm right here? Like I... <laughs> I'm, the I'm, one I'm kind here. of taught him the ways for a lot of those nah, things. So so should I, should I feel insulted? I, I mean, kind if of this idiot. is after you taught him, I hate to see what he's like beforehand. Yes, guess, guess I'm literally, I'm, guys, I'm literally right here. I <laughs> like. Oh hey, Alazrin! I didn't see you there. <laughs> I just what's, go pat Alazrin on the shoulder. As I'm fucking tossing chairs around and rummaging through. <laughs> yeah, here while bricks. you're searching. Yeah. I'm just like. <laughs> Do to be that. fair, not many of us would be still here if Elazarin wasn't, so... I nod vigorously at that, because the heels have saved me many He knows we're <laughs> just giving him stick. I got a 15 on my investigation. Yeah. 15? Uh, um, you notice that um, the chairs, they do move, but they seem to be... Like, as soon as you move one of the chairs, you, you notice that they seem to be standing on... Like, very small... Like, like, pressure plates, almost. When the chairs are on the pressure plates, are the pressure plates depressed? Uh, yes. And then when I take Had the chair a tough off, life, they, they could use some therapy. You know? Have so they had any it? medication? When I remove the chairs, the pressure, plate, the pressure plates lift up again? Yes. All four of the chairs? Uh, yes. So there were... One under each foot, or just one per There's chair? There's one. Like, each chair is standing on one pressure plate, but all four of the chairs, uh, the pressure plates seem to be in different positions. So, the first chair, it's the back right leg of the chair that is on top of the pressure plate. The second chair, it is the front right, and then the other two, it's uh, back left and front left. Okay, so four <laughs> chairs... Four pressure plates, all in different positions. Yes. At this point in time, you know, when when the way you found them was that all four plates were were pressed in because the chairs were like standing on them. And as I've been moving, well, I guess we're all talking over it, so I probably didn't hear anything mm -hmm. outstanding when I was moving them around. But I mean, I'm not dead, so they can't no. be that bad. Um, these chairs all seem to be on some sort of pressure plate or switch. They don't seem to have done anything so far, but as we go into the next room, just keep that in mind. Maybe it's important. Maybe only some have to be pressed. Possibly. I'm just taking I'm off sure the if, there's, if there's four certain things in the next room, then maybe the chairs correspond somehow. But Okay. Good maybe you have to sit in them. If I sit in one of the chairs, do the pressure plates get more pushed down, or do they just stay the same? They stay the same. Okay. <clears throat> Right now, I've not, I've no idea what to do with them. So, just leave it to sure now. It will reveal itself to us. All right. So you're leaving, oh, you're leaving those chairs no. for what they are for now. Yeah, for now, yeah. Okay. Now, 
I'm gonna keep as we go into the next couple of rooms and keep an eye out see if there's anything that looks like it's in the pattern of four in any way yeah. or anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Um, make a perception check. Things gonna bother me. Uh, can I assist him? Uh, of course. Thank you for the assist. Needed. Cool. Although I'm uh, sure you can guide yourself, but you know. I could, but I haven't. So. <laughs> uh, perception. That is a fourteen. Fourteen. Mm-hmm. Um, you too, both you and Davian, notice that when you're, <clears throat> um, like halfway through that corridor, you're kind of looking around and you notice that in the ceiling above you, there's, there's four slots, like four, just like circular slots in like a, in like a square shape. Um... That are currently not doing anything, but that's that's a pattern of four you notice. As well, when we notice it, I'll tell Elijah to stay there and keep an eye on them, and then I'll go fuck around with the chairs, I guess. Yeah. We'll go on like I'll, a time, see if they light I'll up stay or do something. Back a bit, so I'm not like directly under them, but yeah, you can so still kind of like see them. Yeah, so it's not like shooting darts or some yeah. shit. Yeah, I'm just still kind of can see, and before it shoots down and goes like that. Okay, okay. Um, you're just gonna go back and move a chair. Yeah, I'll lift lift the, the nearest chair off its pressure plate. So that's the back right pressure plate, right? Like with the back right leg. Yeah, I believe. Um, <clears throat> you lift that off, and uh, Lazarin and the rest of you, you see that out of those four things up in the ceiling, the back and front right from your perspective light up. Okay, we got two lit up, Davian. Back and front. Okay. Take, select. I'm gonna go to the the furthest away chair now, and take that. Okay. Off the pressure. Need to so that is the fucking... back left. Yes, that's back left. Yeah. Um, the back right light turns off, but the front left one turns on. So now the front oh. right and left are lit up. So, it might be. Oh God. <laughs> All right. So, so. We can deduce, perhaps. If it go round, hang on, it's gotta go round, surely. So we need. Hang we're on, gonna so need all. Wait, so we're gonna need all the, four of them lit up, Dutch, right? Just, just quickly go over them. When we put the first pressure plate on, it was both the right side. Did you say? Or both yeah, the left both side? of the right ones. Yeah, and now the so the far left down. one gets moved, and the um, back right turned off, but the front left one turned on, and the, the front right one stayed on. Okay. One, one, two. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Hmm. Okay. At, at some point, mm -hmm. while fucking with the chairs, at some point, I had all the chairs off the pressure plates and all the chairs back on. But now, now we got to pay attention to the pattern. So, first pressure plate was two lights on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, right. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the last chair off. I'm okay. gonna put the first chair back on. Okay. You put the first chair back on? Yeah. Front right turns off, but back right turns back on. So, front right turns off, back right turns back on. Yeah. Does so that mean now that both the, the back ones are on? Now both off? back ones are on, yeah. Okay. Is it corresponding with which leg of the chair was on mm -hmm. the pressure plate at all? Like, back right light is the chair that had the back right leg on the plate kind of thing? No, because the first chair was the back was a back right pressure pressure plate, ah. and it lit up both on one side so rather than here. the first one. the first chair lit up front right back right. Correct. This is what we've and got. And then so the last chair we've lit done the up first and the last chair, and those are the lights have lit up. The back yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's so I'm at. gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put the last one back on, so all four chairs are on the pressure plate, and then I'm going to take off the uh second closest chair second closest yeah um front left back right turn on puzzle time baby this is so hard for me to visualize god okay <laughs> and now, I, I think i know it that's why i'm drawing it up and but okay fuck, and now which wouldn't Putting the, I'll putting allow the, a little bit of, that of, chair of back. player, you know, meta using of brain. Ethan, if you think putting, you putting that chair back, I'm gonna move the last chair that we haven't moved yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like 
unless you have a negative intelligence score, I feel like you're allowed to just use player brain for puzzles because yeah, if no one exactly. can solve the puzzle, then nothing happens. Exactly. So. I have um, a zero so, intelligence score. But that's not negative. I'm a human. You're fine. So, <laughs> wait, leftmost, rightmost are on the pressure plates right now? Everything, Everything back on the pressure plates. One. Yeah. You I'm, took I'm this moving now. Second one you took off, and that lit up those two. Uh, front, left, back, right, right, I said, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Need to make sure that I keep track of my own puzzle. <laughs> uh, so now you're <laughs> taking off the, the like the other middle chair, right? Yes, yeah, the other but middle chair. He's putting everything else on first, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But are you putting the other chair back? Yeah. Yes. That's what oh, okay, said. okay, 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 okay. Uh, that one lights up just the back left. Just the back left. Okay, so I think I have it, but I'm th I'm I want to let you do it first. I'm just, I've got it, I've got it visualized. And I'm just trying to, <laughs> trying to run the numbers. So if I take off the... I just don't know how they affect each other. Yeah, right. I, I, I think... Going out on a limb, I'm going to take off the farthest chair that lit up the front two okay the chair that lit up the one the top left one okay no because then surely if we just took all of them off it would work would you like me to help or would you like to yes yeah yeah, yeah, okay. yeah yeah i <laughs> think to light them all up you take off the first second and fourth because the first does the two on the right. The second one will turn off back right, but will turn on front left. Yeah. Which means that both of the fronts are on. And then the fourth chair lit up both of the back. Mm. Oh, was it both at the back? Mm. Yeah. Oh, I've, I, wrote, I put both at the front. Oh, okay, yeah. Then, yeah, the first, the second, and the fourth chair, because you double up on the one that you turned off and turn it back yeah. on. Dude, I'm proud of you guys. That's that didn't take long <laughs> at all. I'm actually impressed. Wow. Okay. I like logic puzzles, man. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those like it's not just each pressure plate lights up a certain thing, but it's also like if you some know. of them overlap. So if you use one that yeah. gets the other, you know what I mean? That's the, yeah, yeah, that's a difficulty it's factor. It's the type yeah, of puzzle I... in a video game where I'd hit I'd hit the switches continuously until I <laughs> until fucking it just forced it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I read a module <laughs> once where they did one of these, but it was twelve by twelve. Fuck that. Oh, Unless you go fuck no. yourself. If, I would just hit shit randomly. I mean, this is why I like puzzles in D&D because I don't need to visualize. I'm so yeah. bad at visualizing Same. this kind of puzzle. <laughs> Good job, team. Good job. Fucking, fucking yes. gamers, dude. Okay. So with that, Elazarin, you notice, and the rest of you, those that are all there, notice that all of the lights light up and a section of the wall to your left like opens up. What's in um, there? Hey! <clears throat> What it reveals uh, is a bronze, no, sorry, <clears throat> a gold statue of a pair of lions. Ooh, okay. Come on, England. <laughs> oh, Would I know if it's Sorry, any... I re have to rephrase. There are oh two statues of a line each. So two statues oh, of two li of one okay. line each. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Misread. Okay. Does it seem like religious iconography in any way? Um make a religion check. And size wise, by the way, they're they're like they're small enough to fit in your pockets. They're not very big at all. Oh. Little. Uh religion. Uh that's a twenty two. Um well, you know that there's some, like, you know, there's deities that, that you know, there's animal, de de deities that depict themselves as animals, but you're not too confident whether that's anything to do with this, to be honest. Okay. Uh, oh, mm, where they, where they are <laughs> sat, are they, are they on a little pedestal, I guess? Uh, are they so small? Yeah, are they on, like a table? on a table? On a little, like, pedestal, yeah. Are they on pressure plates of some kind? Is this going to be some Indiana Jones? No. It doesn't seem like Shit. it. It doesn't seem. Like Are they facing the same way? Yeah, they're or... both. They're both like you know, basically like staring at you. Does, I guess. Does it look yeah, like they're on some sort of? Does it also? Does it look like some like dais? That like. 
they can be turned. A lazy Susan. Like does, uh, does it look they're fixed in place or like can no, be? No, you can. Or... They seem like you can. Yeah, lift them up. Mm. Pick them up. Don't want to. Is there anything? <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick one up and I'm gonna look it over. Mm -hmm. Is there anything of note about the the base of these statues? Make an investigation check. I'll guide him. Oh, I already have advantage. You get extra d4. Oh, well, I got advantage a and a d4. Yeah, I got a freaking uh, dirty twenty. Make that a dirty twenty-two. <laughs> a dirty twenty-two. A dirty twenty-two. <laughs> um, you you see some like magical runes oh. etched into the base. Spike. Who is the best arcana? I wouldn't oh, know. Oh, it's definitely me. Jax. Jax. <laughs> yeah, I would just hand them to Jax. I mean, he's oh, just got oh. the detect magic. Am I, am I rolling for Jax tonight? I believe uh, so. Yeah, fuck it. You're you the mind. Jax man. Scooby doo bee ba boo ba da boo Uh... Yeah, because he has the fucking magic. World of meditation, is that stupid? Yeah, detect magic. Yeah, he has a magic detector. Which gl glows uh, bright blue and lets him cast Detect Magic, which isn't really helpful here. Well, there's runes he on it. It could be magical. That's just the school. Just make an arcana check and see what happens. Okay. Anything just, but necrobat. I'm necrobate. just checking if the <laughs> shit that he has that gives him fucking... Um, yo, I, that I, gives advantage. him fucking... <laughs> yo, yo <laughs> I, I, I guide Jax. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this for no, because he has like thing. a billion different like proficiency and uh, advantage and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. You, you, um, you try to call on Joaquin to guide Jax, and she just says no. No, <laughs> fuck no. that guy. No. He doesn't John believe, he he doesn't doesn't believe in me. I won't yeah. allow you to believe in him. I won't believe in him. He's in front of Jax. Are you actually guiding Jax? Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh... Jax gets Joaquin smitten. Says no. <laughs> well, it was a natural 11, so with a d4 on the guidance, that comes to 23. Jesus Christ. Uh, that, all Jax can pick up is that this is definitely... This screams conjuration magic. Oh. It, it's... It's gonna it's conjure a real lion. conjuration magic. It's gonna bring a real lion. Mm. But it's not my ideal material since... I'm I'm not used to working with anything that's not electrum. Okay. Nice. They they seem solid gold. They're heavy, not solid gold. I guess there's no way. No, they're just, they just gold statues, but they're they're like almost almost like chess piece size. Like they easily fit in your pocket. Oh, they're little. So they're, they're hard, like not brittle. No, they're pretty. They're solid too. Yeah. Uh, I think. So we could like I... smash it and summon a lion. Well, I think we probably should wait till we can maybe identify them. Does the other one seem to be conjuration magic as well? Yeah, they're, they're identical. Okay, cool. I th I'm <laughs> going to assume that this isn't something for something later. I think this might just be a holding. I can I do a quick scan of the room. There's nothing else like in the room, is there? Like, oh, uh, the room no itself? Clothes? You're going yeah. into the room itself now? I don't like how you said that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, are you, no, are you entering yeah. the room at the end of the hallway? No, the, the what, what happened? What happened? So was it just, oh, was it just like a, a wall, thing? Like a, a it was wall. like a thing in the wall. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, in the oh I thought it was like a... You haven't uh, entered the room yet. Oh, yeah. then I'll go. I'll, yeah. You gotta go because his shit might fuck be there. Fuck it. Enter the room. I'll check the traps. Um, make an investigation check. <laughs> you, I've died a lot to him. This is true. 18. 18? Uh, as far as you can tell, no traps. Uh, you oh, enter, a enter the room. Uh, you can see that there's a desk sitting against uh, the uh, western wall uh, with some more paperwork being spread about. Uh, there's a door um, on the eastern side of this room. I would like to search the shit out of that desk for both just keys and any more of that, like, Secret script. Make an investigation check. Might guide myself. Fuck it. Gonna guide myself as well. I'm 
19. 19? Um, you find some uh, paperwork that seems um, <clears throat> almost like, like defensive plans for the forts, like formations for the soldiers, uh, where the battle stations are, who's supposed to be stationed there, that sort of thing. Other than that, nothing much of interest. Fair. So I've seen nothing of interest in here. Just battle plans. Which? For for like the the blue sentinels or the Does it spider gang? Like it's for uh, this. The... Yeah, like you you've never seen the night webs use anything like this. This is definitely like a military, like you know, in case the fort gets sieged kind of thing. Just seems more like if the siege were to happen. Seems more. I suppose there's any defenses in there against a massive fucking barrel of gunpowder. Nah. So yeah. they hood. But... Yeah. Yes. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what's in this next room, then. I'll go up to the door. And... Uh, door to it... be locked. Uh, probably should check if it's. Davin, can you just have a check for us if it's trapped? I'm not 100 percent um my eyes yeah, on this key. I'll look. I'll check check the lock and stuff for uh twaps. <laughs> twaps. Twaps. Oh whoa. Dirty twenty. Uh, as it's far as you can tell, thing. uh no traps on the door, no. Alright. To be locked though. There's look. no traps. I suppose we just leave Kess to do our... it's, like, it's it's the look at Kess, look at the door. Look at Kess. Yeah. <laughs> the door. <laughs> Cracks knuckles, cracks neck. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> cracks lockpick in half. <laughs> <laughs> she already destroyed one lockpick in this uh, keep run, pretty yep. sure. Yeah. 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 24. Piece of cake. She don't miss. You take you you stick the lockpick in, and uh, you stick the other like fucking part of the thieves' tools in, and <laughs> mere seconds and. The, the, again, that satisfying click, and uh, you swing the door open. I'm a pro. Uh, in the room, you can see uh, an empty armor stand and a chest. Is the chest locked? Uh, the chest is not locked, no. Is it trapped? Make an investigation check. Nothing more Hopefully terrifying this is than an unlocked chest. Shit. Ooh, oh, natural 20! Oh, we've uh, already got value shit. A pair of them. Uh, does not appear trapped. It is unlocked. Uh, nothing weird or off about it. It just seems like a chest. I'm going to open it. Okay. In it, you see um, a variety of, of clothing and um, chain mail, or nice. scale mail, actually. A, a set of scale mail, a long sword, uh, some... Like a, a, a pouch with a bunch of different types of like gems and whatnot, which you reckon <clears throat> probably, you know, spell you've components. seen yeah, spell components and that sort of thing. I um, think I found your stuff. Did you? Mm. Does everything let me have a look and Valor kind of like shuffles forward and takes a little bit of time to, yeah, to basically puts it on, puts, sheaths his long sword, uh, hands you your, sh your short sword back, Davian. Um, you? Take, put put all of his you know his pouches away. Um, oh, there's also this. Uh, this is not mine, but it was in it. And he shows you <clears throat> a pair of leather bracers, and the bracers seem to be depicting an elven individual on a backdrop of a bunch of arrows. It's not mine. If any of you want to perhaps take it. Does the imagery mean anything to me? Uh, not particularly, no. Just an elf in I mean, front of some arrows. Just sees arrows, like, I mean, don't know if this probably has something to do with archery, Davian. They look like they might be of some use. I mean... They look like archer braces. Or, like, more generic. Yeah, they definitely have that, like, that that, that, that design Side, to it, yeah. yeah. I mean, I we could probably get, we could get identified, I assume, later, just in case it's not what we think it is, but... So Valor, well, yeah. Valor in his in his scale mail and everything's kind of like cracks his neck a bit. I feel a bit more like myself now. Um, if you look more like yourself, hmm. all right then, let's get the fuck out of here. Quick. I assume that if I put these on, they wouldn't do anything because 
I don't know what the fuck they do. Uh, let me quick little check. I don't know if you need to attune them, actually. Hold on. You just have to find out. Just there, like, arrow. Yeah. Summon arrow. Summon her. Come on. <laughs> uh, they require attunement, so yeah, they, would, they, would, they wouldn't okay. do anything. Yeah. Go, go, gadget, braces. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Activate. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, yes, um, get, lead the way. Get out of here. I will. I'm just gonna yeah, fucking just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm just gonna straight out like quickest route possible. Okay, hauling ass out of here. <clears throat> Vela will kind of follow along uh, and walk past the variety of, uh, of 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 corpses and and whatnot of things that you left behind. You eventually make it to like the entry hall. Walk past this giant fuck off insect like creature that you also fought, and he kind of take you know does a double take <laughs> as you walk by. And yeah, if there's nothing else in this fort that you want to look for or explore or, or do anything, then yeah, you make your way back to the um, to like the the inner courtyard outside. Right. Anyone Russia. still there? You can definitely see Valor kind of like really taking in a big like. <laughs> sniff of air and like looking like taking in the sun and <clears throat> you definitely see that his eyes kind of like have to adjust so kind of smell the after uh, the after smell of that explosion and the and the burning wood and most it's definitely pleasant, to be honest smell of victory all right well you really did a number on that gate huh are there still like unconscious guards on the floor from where jack pushed them off Oh, they're Hopefully. dead. <laughs> they both recovered. They're not they unconscious. They both recovered and then got fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. But you you left none alive in that in that encounter. Kess is just kind of skipping to... towards the road to like. Any of them got possible. visible coin pouches? <sighs> Make a perception check with disadvantage. What about invisible coin pouches? Mm. Perception. Mm -hmm. mm. Twelve. As you're kind of like walking by quickly, like having a glance of you, just like without really stopping walking, having a glance of like, oh, does anyone have anything? No, you don't really see anything. And even do I see anything of interest at all on them? Just their their basic like blue sentinel weaponry and and an armor. Uh, I boot one of them in the head as we walk out. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, he broke his toe in that seat. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck off. Dude. I'll kick one who's specifically not wearing a helmet. Yeah. Uh, I guess... The, does, the, does the road lead south? Um, yeah. We just, there's a, basically yeah. the lay of the land right now is there's a road that leads south uh, that will probably take you uh, past the other keeps that are southbound. And eventually to Strathmore, and I mean, you reckon there's probably also a road that splits off to get to Northbury, because it's yeah, on the way. Because Strathmore is where we're going to meet mm -hmm. the boat and meet the yeah. meet Vera, but yeah. Northbury's uh, our pit stop. If I, believe, if, I remember, if I remember correctly, uh, like an in-game week from now is when you just, yeah. uh, are supposed mm -hmm. to meet up with her. To allow oh. for travel time. Allow for travel and then chill at the beach. Basically. <laughs> I suppose all there is oh, to do now is trudge. As soon as we leave the fort, I need to change back into my regular clothes because I'm wearing oh, my, yeah. my red and black outfit and I can't wear that outside. So I'm going to change. <clears throat> oh, the city suicide just disintegrates. like a, It's a vampire, but clothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, onwards, I suppose. What time of day is it? I've completely lost it's track. It's early, of how right? Sorry? I don't think it's super early because we had lots of. Oh, did we do nighttime? I, I can't remember. I can't remember if we nighttime raided or if we like morning raided. I can't remember what. I, I think it was a morning. Sure. morning. If I remember correctly, yeah. it was a morning. Early morning, morning, right? It was like sunrise. So and you yeah. did you did short rest in there though. I'm pretty sure if I remember we correctly. Did, yeah, so, an hour. Yeah, yeah. We'll say that it's like like close to noonish right now. How long? Do, do we know roughly? How far the travel is to North Barry? Uh, you can deduce that uh, if it's a week travel from where you are to uh, Strathmore, that you'll hit North Barry on like your fourth day of travel. It's kind of like kind of like a almost like Four an in the middle point. Okay. Sort of. I mean, Jackson, I suppose you have a map, do you? Oh yeah, his map thing to cut time down. 
Um, I can certainly attempt it. This can all happen while I'm hiding behind mm -hmm. something to change clothes. <laughs> behind like a piece of rubble that broke off from the wall. Yep. Could fucking oh, and I put on, on top of my normal clothes, I put on my, my pirate bandana. For, but nice. we're not obviously on the boat yet, but I'm going to put it on now. Uh, do, 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 do. It's the, is it the acquisitions one? No. Um, it's something called like adventures. It's map called a case cartographer's map case. Oh yeah. yeah, I was close. Um, but it's about finding the fucking role yeah, that I Robert. make. Isn't that like an intelligence check? Or I something? think it's an intelligence it's check. Aiming throw. It's one. It's things. the one thing of Jax's is that I've not yet done. Yeah. Um, uh, it is uh ba -do 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 -do, map of shortcuts. Uh, rank three map comes with common magic item. This is destroying normal maps. Cursor map case can be used to generate a special map and inviting shortcuts. You can use your action to make a wisdom oh. or a perception check. Sorry, uh, okay. DC fifteen perception check. Uh, if you succeed, you just cut your fucking travel time in half. Make it two days. And if you succeed the check by five or more, the map includes notes of terrain, grant you advantage on the next ability check you make while traveling. Ooh. Is this on Jax's sheet? Well, it's the cartographer's map case, but I guess, you know, he, he chose for it to become the map of shortcuts instead of the map of moments. Uh, pass. Yeah, yeah. okay, so, so I need to uh, make a DC 15 check. perception check. Perception? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 16. So you do, in fact, uh, shall we say that you, like, look for a shortcut towards Northbury then in that case? Because that's kind of like... Yes. So that will make make it so that instead of on your fourth day, you will arrive at Northbury towards the end of your second day of travel. Hog! Right. I think we'll probably be slow to travel until the valley gets a little bit better. We cut through these woods, we could probably... Oh, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He finds, yeah, some shortcuts that are off the road, which is also works better for not being seen. Don't right. gather enough speed and take this ramp instead of going on the path. <laughs> We can hit a sick flip in the air and go down <laughs> half of our travel. Okay. Yeah, so the cuts thing with just the half flip, it just lands flat on his back. It was like the negative two, whatever, dexterity. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm in the position to do a flip, but uh, I'll give him a. Uh, oh no, the, the, the whole cart, baby. It's like a like a like a barrel roll curved. We don't, we, have a car. Car. we don't have a cart. We don't have a cart. Oh, no, we don't have the cart. No, we left. Got teleport. No, we've got teleported, dude. Yeah. yeah, you got Shmelis Mortis. Uh, look, it's been a while, all right? Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That's why it takes, so it takes five days to go there, because we're walking. We're walking. Hopefully, hopefully not. Scoop, boop, 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 boop. Already cut down two days of your, of your week of travel, so. Yeah, we did, yeah. we're doing pretty good. We good. True. Hmm. We walk. All right, we so go. you guys head out. Um, a few hours after your uh, trip. Or like a few hours into your trip, I should say. You <clears throat> look up into the distance and you can see this large mass of like foggy, dark smoke traveling to traveling to basically overhead of you towards um, where you came from. You see it coming, what do you do? Like, it's not overhead of Look you just cover. yet, but it's it's, yeah. it's coming. I'm cover. disappearing into my vessel. Is it moving? Like, is it moving at the space we'd ex uh, the pace we'd expect for, like, clouds of snow? Oh, no. Uh, no, way faster. Well, Are there anywhere, shit. like, terrain-wise for cover? Like, tree cover mm. or anything? Or no, are we pretty open uh, right Make now? a perception check. Me? Yeah. Oh, dear. You asked, didn't you? I did. Who's um, looking more fucked up at the that's, moment? Oh, that's good. 19. 19. <laughs> HP wise, me, like in game wise, Valor. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um, okay. 19? Yep. You, there's, yeah, there's some like uh, small trees that you, and, and, and some like tall grass that you can definitely, like, if you're quick, make use of. So at least okay. make it harder for you to be detected. I'll just grab Kess's vessel and dart over there. My feline agility. Hope the others follow, because I can't I tell will, them to follow. I will grab Elazarin and Valor, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
and get them down into some long grass and try and get my cloak over as many of us okay, as possible. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. Spread it out for the camouflage. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, Jax is smart. What's the smart play here? Um, Go invisible. Jax and Brooks are both going to cast Disguise Self. Okay. And uh, just look like peddlers on the road. <laughs> yep. Just look like two homeless idiots like <laughs> uh, like nomads not like homeless wandered out of the city but can like, that be the party name the homeless nomads. idiots has a ring to it no we've already got the ragtag fuckwits and that's the same vibe <laughs> is it actually, yeah is that actually the name is that what we're gonna dub this i don't know as the ragtag point. fuckwits go from the heroes of exile to the ragtag fuckwits earned a better title yet <laughs> True. And with yeah. all of our moralities, probably They're won't. They're gonna try and play it cool. Make a... I mean, kind of like we saved the city of Eldalon. That's pretty, pretty cool. But no one really know. Only a few people know about that. Make a make a performance check, Brooks. Do I need to make one for Jax as well? Uh, I'll advantage? allow him to assist you, I guess. That you can just roll with the vendors. I for mean, both he's here. got a plus two, so he's not awful at it. Uh, this is uh, 22. Okay. Uh, as you were kind of, uh, Dagon, you, you pulled uh, Kess down with you, right? Or like, uh, the, I'm in the, I, I'm I in... grabbed her vessel. Oh, she I'm in Dasha's vessel. Picked it up and... You, you mm -hmm. just to the vessel, right? I just, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I just going it and ran. Okay. <laughs> uh, this like Vibinity. giant mass of weird looking fog flies over and seems to pass you. And <clears throat> Valor will kind of, well, it's safe to say that um, they're on their way home. Mayhap you didn't clear out the entire fort and they raised an alarm of some sorts, but um, they know. Interesting way to travel. It's, um, it's a little trick that, um, you know, they've, they, they've been adjusting their ways, evolving, if you could say. Um, they are able to, through magical means, manipulate their mass and turn into a more gaseous form. Travels a lot quicker. I believe five times as fast as, you know, going by foot. Not more. Yes. That is effective. Well, there's a, just a cloud of angry bad guys on the way back to the fort then. Pretty much, yes. I mean, judging by the size of that one, it's quite a lot of them. Yeah, don't love that. How far away were we from the fort? A few point? hours out. A few, few hours. hours. Okay. Well, hopefully they didn't know which way we're traveling. They go the wrong way afterwards. They um, will probably take some time to, you know, figure out what the fuck happened, collect bodies, investigate. I reckon we'll, we'll be alright. As long as yeah, we, we 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 keep moving, stay vigilant. Exactly, and make sure that when we do decide to set up camp in some way, shape, or form, we uh, hide ourselves very well. No, don't worry, we will. And um, yeah, just continue. We'll kind of like look, wait a few minutes, just to make sure like, they have like definitely all gone, like it's all gone, and they won't be able to like see us I mean... anymore and start. <laughs> <clears throat> if we really want to take the time to do it, I can attempt to disguise everyone, but I don't have changes of clothes and We'll just continue on. We'll be fine. Leave that up to you, I don't mind. Well, we've just gotta hope that there's no one following after and that's that's them passed over and we can just keep moving and they'll mm. be none the wiser. Uh Valor, to your Knowledge, is there anyone within the the Nightwebs in Northbury who might recognize you? Do they, um, to your knowledge, have anyone acting there currently? To my knowledge, no. That's why I decided to make Northbury a place where I have a safe house. Because I... Have you 
ever travel to Northbury while working for the Nightwebs? No. Do they know that you've been here? No. Not as far as I'm aware, unless they've been watching me, but... Since I went rogue, so to say, I haven't been, so they, even after that, where I, I assumed they were going to be looking at me, so I, I avoided the place on purpose. So it, it should be fine. But, you know, keep your head, keep your head about I, you, but... I, I sort I'm of very careful it, guys. in the process of trying to hide the fact that I have a, a bit of a safe haven there. I sort of want to disguise Valor on the off chance that something does happen, so that at the very least you can sort of fuck off to Northbury and, you know, like if, if we see a group on the road, you can split off from us, wait, and then travel to Northbury while disguised. Because obviously, I can't disguise all of us. And they know what we all look like. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is a terrible idea or not. I th think it's wasting time until the morning. Like, maybe not do it now, but tomorrow maybe. I think for now we need to find a place to camp. We need to, yeah, we need to get as far get, as possible. And get far as far as possible camp, right now. Distance road. is more important than... Yeah. I think mean, we to need to honest. camp... If they're, if they're traveling like that, we need to camp somewhere that's covered over without too much visibility. Yeah. I can help with that. I believe um, they're going a lot quicker than I thought we would. Uh, there, is, uh, there is some woods up ahead that we could, you know, use as a bit of cover. Let's head there. Let's set up camp. Maybe even have an early rise, early night. Wake up early tomorrow. I could do with some sleep, not going to lie to you. It's been, uh... Yeah. Not surprised. Been rough. I, I don't even know how much time has passed since I got captured, to be honest. I, the lack of sunlight kind of makes it hard to count your days. How long has it been since I've known that Valor's been captured, right? So how much since we've known about... Fuck. Um, it's a good fucking I mean, question. Just, just, ball, you know, just spitball it. I don't know. I'm trying to because when did you find out? When you first talked to was that Zodan, Zodan, right? right? Was Which that, was when you were on was, your way to. Uh, uh, that was before. To, that was before. That's going to Seth Car. Yeah, that was we before were traveling. Abelath and shit. Yeah, so that's definitely yeah, been. We were traveling to Seth Car. Yeah, it's definitely been yeah, like. We it's definitely been like uh, a few weeks. A week, maybe maybe even two weeks, yeah. It's been it's been a while. Like maybe ten days, give or take. Oh, what says him? It's probably well, since we've known you've been taken, ten days ish. Give huh. or take. So up to two weeks you've probably been gone. If not longer. Well. It's two weeks I'm never getting back. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm sure you've lost more somewhere else down the road. <laughs> yeah, but I don't suppose while we're walking anyone could identify these braces. I'm dying to know. Not even Jax, no. I think Jax <laughs> might be quite tapped out of spell slots. Because I should fuck out. Does oh, by Jax the way, even I know. have identify because it's not on yep. the sheet. He does have He has he cast does. identify multiple times. Yeah, he has. He might not have it prepared. I don't, yeah. I don't know how artists work. Does have it with the the hard to work prepared spells. If it's every morning or if it's every level. I will find out if you do in Uno Memento. Yeah. Uh, you know, no I'm staying in the vessel, by the way. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna carry it until Kess reappears. Four hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, artificers are uh, are a prepare spell kind of thing. Yeah, he Jax doesn't have it prepared. Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, is it every day they can repair, or is it every uh, level oh, up they have to repair? Um, I could have a look at those if you want. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'll hand them over. Uh, the bracers? Yep. He... Wait, what's the fucking cast time on that? Mother... It's a minute. So he spends a minute, you know, doing his thing. Uh, muttering some words. You can see some parts of a scale mill. Like, some of the scales kind of light up a little bit. Uh, in this, like, this, like, purplish color. Kind of similar to, to you know, the... the, the 
the color of the dome that that the Lazarin summons, like that that like twilighty theme yeah. to it. Golden. Um, these are bracers of archery, so definitely up your alley. How convenient. Uh, take some <laughs> That's time literally to, what I wrote uh, verbatim. That's Take hilarious. some time to, uh, you know, get to know them a little bit. And uh, if you're wearing these, you um, should be able to hit more of your shots and they'll be a little more damaging as well. Interesting. I don't know who those were previously. Uh, I mean, we found them in some kind of offers, right? And the paperwork seemed to be more military than Nightweb, so perhaps one of the former higher ranking. Some of your things, though, they might well belong to some poor sod who ended up in the. Oh, perhaps. In it's the true. Yeah. As well. well, they're yours now. Doesn't matter, right? True. Really doesn't matter to me you owned them before. <laughs> check the inside. Cursed. Just check the inside for blood. There's like, nah, a, there's, there's like a name broidered in the inside. <laughs> oh, my loving wife. <laughs> this, <laughs> this whole time we never noticed there's just a hand, like a, a seven oh hand God. in one of them. Oh, like the brace is still like magically yeah. tied around the wrist. To my oh, no, no, don't need to worry about that anymore. Johnny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lots of love. I it. Um... Well, we're at it. Uh, does anyone have anything else that they would like me to take a look at while we're walking? Not now. I think we'll have some things later. I mean, we, we've got the lions, right? But we can do it Maybe we should wait until we we're camping. Fair enough. Should get... Do you mind if I have a look at the statues while we walk? Because I don't have to stop to cast shit on it. I just want to have a look. <laughs> oh, some of the line just in your mouth. <laughs> just like tears his head open like with his puts it in his mouth. Puts it in his mouth. Cash trips over. He laughs. Swallows it. Oh. <laughs> and then oh, summons a lion. Cash is still in a vessel, so then summons a lion. Summons a lion. Just tears you apart from the inside. As the lion, like. <laughs> Oh shit, that's oh. another point. Uh, are we going to tell Ketis it's safe to come out, or are we just going to leave her in the vessel? Because I was wondering where she went. I mean, I, I mean, she can hear everything going hear on. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, I mean, asking that question is so confirming she can to her that it's safe. Hear that it's fine and is choosing. So if she's it. paying attention, she might be fucking napping or she's just know, lying a, on a beach. A, having a <laughs> corn flab with her fucking a pina colada. Great, 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 great fucking grandmother who I don't know fucking blew smoke out of a volcano I love that none of this makes sense to me Valor <laughs> like looks at you Brooks Does he do this she's a got lot? She right? a very colorful family history let's put it that way <laughs> literally and metaphorically right. elemental she's... lords we'll put it that way Valor no yeah. problem Explains a couple of things. Should uh, you should ask ask her to explain her diplomatic community? What diplomatic community? Exactly. Cats is just um... lying on a beach, like fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear. We just hear. <laughs> the vessel is just like. No, <laughs> uh, when um, when they learned about 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 uh, you traveling with these people, they did their research and definitely showed a lot of interest in in, in, in Kess because of her background but uh, that makes sense now why oh good well Fantastic. not like not not as in um, more of like uh, because the nature of what they are doing lies closely tied to her apparent family you know making sure that they're aware of who they're pissing off more along, more along those lines Makes sense. Right then. And I, I guess we'll, we'll continue walking on for the... <clears throat> after until we find that, like, foresty area. Alright. 
Yeah, and uh, it'll be like towards, you know, like around... What is happening? Oh, I don't, I don't know who's got the golden... I don't know who's got them. You! Oh. I passed you one of them. <laughs> I thought Javian picked them up. Can... Oh, I thought Javian picked them up, sorry. Can I deduce anything about the craftsmanship? Um... Dude, make a blacksmithing check. No, um... I mean, I can if you want. Yeah, fuck it. Right. Just do like a smith tools uh, check for it. Fuck it. Why not? What uh, stat do you want me to use? I, yeah, mm, I'll let you pick either int or whiz. It's up to you. I, I'll I'm go. leading more I mean, towards... It's plus zero plus one, so... I'm leading more towards wisdom because blacksmith is definitely one of those, like, you've, you're, you gain more experience by just doing it and, you know, making mistakes. You learn from them, that kind of thing. So I'd say wisdom. You say wisdom? Yeah. So it's going to be a plus four total. 19. Um, very well made. The the way how like seamlessly and like very little error in the actual like like forging and, and shaping of the statues themselves reminds you a lot of um some very like high quality elven smithing. Is it similar to like the level of effort that Brooks put into the statue made with Kest where like someone's clearly not just Cat, like not just melted it like they've taken the time to make a mold and to make a oh yeah, yeah yeah absolutely this is definitely like a they've tried their best kind of thing yeah and it, it's reminiscent of elvish craft elvish yeah okay uh, finer small but... a small piece of metal to work with but it's definitely very detailed and and is it to the best of my knowledge solid gold um yeah it feels like it I will throw it back to Lazarus. <clears throat> well, it's uh, it's solid, and I'm pretty sure it's elvish. Well, Beyond that is out of my remit, but we'll find out when we camp. Suppose even if it's not, not you can I can take a look at them tonight if you. Even if, if you the want. enchantment's not super exciting, like you know, it's, it's worth some problem. money. Yeah. Yeah. Well then, maybe it's that uh enchanted animated chess thing <laughs> sure Do you abyss anyone? so you uh <laughs> one of these days that chest is just gonna come back and be like oh hello <laughs> i remember you now um <clears throat> you travel for a few more hours until where the sun is about to go down for the evening you make it to like a, a, a bit of a foresty it's like it's like a jungle forest hybrid almost uh it's not proper jungle rainforest it's it's like a mixture of of, of both like do we have to take our jungle remedy no okay Ooh. it's like you can kind of gradually see the 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 flora of the area like gradually the further like northeast you look the more gradually it turns into like proper rainforest would Cass be out of the vessel now it depends would she in any of the like say three to four more hours that they've been walking been like oh yeah i'll pop out now uh no she would have waited for the until the four hours ran out okay yeah i mean yeah if, if you hear your your compatriots say like okay this is a good spot to camp or whatever then you know that if you want to make that the trigger for you to be like hey you can she just pops up yeah <clears throat> okay good this seems Welcome as uh, good a place as any got to the, the roof of the trees to kind of cover us from up top at least let me know when you want to start going to sleep all of you i can Give us a bit more protection, make us a bit more comfortable. You thinking about what I think you're thinking about? I mean, you showed it to me before. Not bad. What is it you've got in mind? I feel very out of the loop here. You've seen me do it, the bubble I made when we slept. Oh, the, the sleep can... bubble, not the other sleep. bubble. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a a tiny, tiny You have hut. a lot of bubbles. You know, if you want to be, There's... it's it's not really tiny though, is it? It's you know. It's also not much of a hut, mm -hmm. but here we are. And here we are. Yes, that's what it's called, right? Ask Liam and. 
Would this be the type of terrain that, looking around, I could judge if it would provide, like, enough for, like, small game or, like, berries or, like, roots and stuff to be found? It's not, yeah, like, absolutely. too desolate for that? No, absolutely. All right, then I want... I'm going to use my wonder background feature because I can find food in that kind of terrain for up to five people. Okay. I, know, I know we're more than five, but it's something. We can... Um... Just, Sure. Yeah, you go around, you find some like some like some like, for an berry, hour, berry going bushes and you manage to catch maybe some small game, you know, maybe some maybe maybe some like wild rabbits or something to yeah. kinda have a you know, roast of a fire if you want to. Yep. Yeah. So I'll be gone for an hour doing that and then come back <clears> to the campsite <throat> with food. It's like I just like imagine Diagon like with her like not with her new fancy spirit, with the old spirit, just like three or four like rabbits like just like hanging from it. She's like, yep. Yep. <laughs> basically got, got dinner <clears throat> basically okay I can also find food and fresh water for myself and up to five other people each day so there you go the two of you just go on a little hunting excursion the two of you go on like a little hunting yeah. trip together cute it's like a competition <laughs> it becomes competitive and like who can find more things are we while are while we we're out I also want to get a fuckload of leaves so that we can cover the dome with leaves and make it harder to spot. <laughs> That's sure. not suspicious at all. From, he means from the sky. Like, yeah. I don't oh, okay. think you can disguise <laughs> yeah. like a fucking Fuck. dome gonna say, covered It's in just leaves. like a dome of leaves. We saw the thing flying overhead, so I think, yeah, purely from yeah. an overhead view. Yeah, of course. Are we, uh, are we wanting to have a fire at the moment with or are we wanting to not? No, we ain't. Would the smoke leave the dome? Well, I mean, we won't need a fire. If it so. didn't, we'd fucking die. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would be danger. I mean, I mean we don't we need a fire I to meant, cook. We I don't mean, need a fire for heat. Yeah, that's eat. what I mean. To um, cook. As long as are we, we... Are we wanting to cook, or is that going to give us away? Sure. So as long as we, you know, don't leave the fire on for hours and hours on end, we should be all right. It's like, I just we hold up to. the rabbits and look at them very t like licking my lips like i want yeah it. well <laughs> okay I'm not sure a raw it. rabbit is gonna go down too well in that that just in that thing, uh these aren't completely ready yet but it should be fine for cooking i will pull out one of my honey meads that is brewing but not yet ready mm-hmm because even though it's not fermented, it's got honey and it should be quite nice to cook a rabbit with. Make some rabbit stew. Oh, we don't have a pot or anything, so. We have, we have. If anyone that has like traveler's kits and stuff has mess kits, which. Yeah. Um. But it's a game the size of a pot to make food for like a group of that many people. Who carries that? I'm sure like oh, that's maybe for like one to four max like i guess you could have multiple of them going add like, that to the grocery pots. list dude <laughs> yeah <laughs> a cooking pot a dutch oven well no because then carrying that around is awkward unless the bag I mean, holding once we empty it out like then do, no big deal but i mean just do mess tins i guess and put them on top of the f oh no because you don't even need to do that just rocks in the fire take the rocks out of the fire put the mess tins on top yeah you'll figure it out i believe yeah Cooking. That's that's what I would do. Hot I stuff. will um hand Valor the those lion statues. Must be like wait for shit to cook. <clears throat> All right, and he again takes a minute to do his thing. <clears throat> um, these are figurines of wondrous power. Um, there is a variety of of these made. Uh, each of them depicting different creatures these ones lions um you can uh use it and then throw it to a point on the ground within 60 feet of you you know how far you can throw and the statuette will become an actual lion nice um portable lions it will be friendly to you uh, understand your languages and your commands and will fight by your side and you have two of them once um they they will be around for an hour or until they you know get killed and um once they are used 
uh, you can't use them again until seven days have passed. Huh. Uh, you can choose to use only one of them or two at the same time, doesn't matter, but every statue, uh, once used, uh, needs seven days to recharge, I suppose. I will put them in my bag. <laughs> Davians. Seem like it'd be helpful. Hmm. Yes. And two lions don't... fight by your side. Sounds pretty badass. I don't suppose that you would be able to find any any herbs around here. I could try. What do you have in mind? Anything you can find, I'll probably figure out what I want to use. But and I don't know. Is it the Anything sort of climate? Beautiful. Is it the climate for root vegetables or? Root vegetables? Maybe. I don't fucking I'm know. trying really hard. Climate, you might... Ginger, maybe? I'm trying to put on a nice fucking meal for uh, a Lazarin's former father figure that's been fucking kept chained up for two weeks or whatever. Well, so. Lazarin has a dad. He has a father figure. He doesn't need an extra one. I have two. <laughs> I don't know you when you said that you could cook. You meant you could, like, actually cook. And not just, you know, boil an egg or something. That's cooking. I lived with a man who blacksmith day in, day out, and my brother who isn't the most physically able. So I sort of learned. That's cool. I don't even know how to make an egg. You don't make an egg, you cook an egg, but... Did, uh, how, however you do it, don't know how to do it. So, wait, wait, no. So you're telling me, ever since you came here, you've only ever had people cook for you? Yeah. You've never even attempted to cook for yourself? No. When Does I first came here, I forgot that you actually ours. had to eat, and I nearly died. <laughs> right, okay, come here. <laughs> okay. She right? I'm gonna start- I'm assuming- I, I don't know if Dagon's pitching her catches in as well, but- Yeah, yeah. I've asked Dabin, uh, Dabin group, to work some stuff. Group food. Uh, I'm gonna start- right. Brooks is gonna, like, full-on start, like, explaining to Cass how, like, to prepare a rabbit, and- what he's doing with like basting it in in this honey mead and this that and the other she is confused <laughs> i yeah I'll, I'll i'll try gather some some flavorful forest wild herbs as they say yeah i will say that uh, because of your like uh background thingy right uh we'll say that you yeah. can definitely find some of those that, that complements this particular meal Delicious. Some wild garlic and some some thyme or something. Sure. Do sure. you find any root vegetables? Probably not. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I can probably get. I'll go. I'm done. Sure. Either find some some wild carrots, dude. Just vibing, just like a Ooh. little patch. We're eating rabbits oh. and rabbit food. Yeah. It's a circle of life. Baby carrots. Baby carrots. <laughs> We're not gonna let them grow up. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, hey, Violet. Um, not to, you know, go back to a conversation that was hours ago and I wasn't a part of, but how do they know about my family? <laughs> they have their ways. Cause like, I only just told these guys like two days ago. And no one else. So... Mm -hmm. But don't look at me, I've been locked up for at least 10 days, uh, I just heard. It's a, it's <clears throat> they have a ways of cup. finding out information, alright? It doesn't need to necessarily mean that people have been listening into you, it is just... Well! Me I don't suppose any of you have any protections against crying magic or whatnot, right? It's probably a... Uh, prime... No, just dreams. The prime suspect there. 
they want to know something about somebody, then it's the first thing they try. That doesn't make any sense, though. I signed a guess, because if it was through scrying, she only just told us about it, so... How'd they know ahead of time, if that's the method? Well, if exactly. That's the what? Hmm? What? Alright, um... She's saying that... <laughs> I only just said it. So if they knew while well, you've been in prison for like 10 days, mm -hmm. that doesn't add up. Well, maybe then, I need to talk to my dad. Maybe there are saucy spiders might... in the fucking Triton gang. Who knows? Because not even anyone I lived with in the Feywild knew. That was the whole point. Well, I mean, they have, they have people everywhere. So like if there's been people around you when you said it, so the, uh, People that knew, um, that mm. you mentioned Triton. I mean, I do know that there's one thing the Night Arabs are good at is infiltrating and living among locals, making it seem like they're just one of them. And uh, all it takes is one person there to happen to be in the air, in the vicinity of you saying it. They maybe mm. magically enhance their hearing ability a little bit, and there you go. Secret spilled. Mm. Okay. I mean, you so did also make it a massive big deal when we. Well, no, the, 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 the thing about my dad, that doesn't, like, that makes sense now. The other thing I think is still good, which is important. Right. The thing you told us recently? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. This is a lovely conversation, but do you want I'm wanna, very confused and also very hungry. Hold these? Yeah, you can you can carry on talking to these two. Just just peel these while you do it. With what? Uh, hand kiss. <laughs> a, a very small like paring knife and carrots. Oh, God damn it. Fucking raw. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because I haven't cooked it yet. You dumb bitch. <laughs> Man, I haven't had to do this. I hate it here. Although well, last time um, I was potatoes. Lazarin, can I yes. speak freely here, or...? Um, yes, I should think so. Regarding... I think you know what I'm going to ask some questions about. Yes. This, um, this whole override thing, does that... Mm. Like, how deep does that go, and how, you know? I mean... Because I have no f fucking idea. It Within my family? quite deep, I mean, it's something that affected my grandfather, and now my father. So how long ago would you say? <sighs> oh, who knows? Father long, long more before. recently, but grandfather a while. He was sick for a while with this. So and long before the reveal of this continent, you would say? Relatively so. Interesting. They seem to believe that it has something to do with, you know, why this this continent was revealed, and it, it's they seem to think that whatever this 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 thing, if it even is a a, a thing, it could refer to a a, a being. But I'm not sure, but they seem to believe that whoever controls the override controls the elemental planes, which is <laughs> bad. So to say to hear that you know your family has been in some way knew about something called the but override they, that seems odd no it didn't like it was ramblings of a of a mad old man i don't they, think you can class them as ramblings of a mad old man anymore that's what they were well, yes but it's not a premonition I, I, that's what we always thought so we've not got so any any your family has always been from the kingdoms yes as far as I'm aware, they've not any, told me anything. Any but... roots in the... You Would know. I know that I've got any roots here within far back elemental planes? As far as Elasmin's aware, he doesn't. No, that's, no Surprise, that's... your cast is third cousin! As far, no, as far as Elasmin would be aware, like, Elasmin's yeah. got told no. this. No, no. No, I mean, I've always... The kingdom's always been our home. I mean... Right. Mother side's elven, I mean, but... I think, um, I mean, 
You need to talk to them. To, to your dad, at least. Figure something out. That will be a fun conversation. What the fuck is the override? Well, I don't know. Nobody really knows. Where's it's... the term come from? My... I don't know where it come from. But it... My, it started just one day after my granddad was at work in the mines. He would came home and started like, mentioning it. Just off the cuff. Yeah. The but, mines... Like, and he's, in you know, what he said something about, he just said about what he heard in a dream, but then oh. he kept on hearing it, and then he and this uh, say craftsmanship else. and with with gemstones that's self-taught. I mean, as far as I'm aware, but who knows where he picks it up from? Who, who taught you? Your father, I assume, and it just got passed yes. on. Father and brothers and any old family, really. Well, I mean. I seems pretty. Um, I don't know. Like no, no one really went to any sort of craftsman to be taught this. It's just passed down from generation to generation. I mean, not that I know of, but maybe he dug something up and got possessed or something. Well, the way I see it is, you have these innate abilities because of your connection to. Elemental plane of air, right? This man over here, I, I, I don't know what it is about him, but he seems to be on fire 24 hours a day, so definitely yeah. some fire elemental planes. Not about on fire, but you know, as you mean like the ability to figuratively digging into the mines, the ability to craft gemstones very well. It's, it's a far fetched idea, but it is. Where were the mines, though? In the kingdoms. It was there's just... those elemental gateways all over the realm. They just happen to be very concentrated here, but there's others. I'm just saying, is it seems very weird to me that a family that definitely manipulates aspects of the elemental plane of Earth for a living suddenly starts rambling about this override thing that now the Nightwebs believe is the key to controlling the elemental planes. It's coincidence like that doesn't really exist, does it? There's been a lot of coincidences with us recently. But what do you mean? Well, were they coincidences? In the grand mm. scheme of things? Probably not. Well, There's a lot that does happen to us that seems quite connected. Constantly. Well, when you put it that way, I start to feel as if the fact we all ended up falling in together isn't a coincidence, and it certainly felt that way. Some grand elemental plan putting us together. All I'm saying is, is the fact that don't say your that, you family, know, your craftsmanship, your manipulation of sorts, the ability to, you know, are connected to stone, earth, and the fact that your family is rambling about this thing that, as far as the Nightwebs believe, has the power to control elemental planes, worth digging into, no pun intended. <laughs> Probably, yes, but I don't know, it just, seeing it, what it's done to both my grandfather and my father, turning them insane, shells of the former selves, I, I don't know. Yeah, but your father and grandfather out, weren't clerics with magical powers. You are. While this part of the conversation is happening, I just want to untie the bandana from my head. And I look at it again. Mm -hmm. Just look at it again. The symbols on it are... Um, uh, let me pull up my journals to make sure I get the names right. Because uh, they're very similar. Um, the... So one, of them's, one of them's tranquil, one of them's bright. I think it's tranquil dunes... Oh, I wrote, I need to pull up my backstory document because I didn't even put it in my journal entry. Shit. But either way, I look at the bandana that has the embroidery of like the the harsh snow capped mountains and then the cave and the sand dunes on it. Thinking and there's like, I'm just looking at it in a kind of, looking very intently at it and examining it in a bit of a new light because it also now it's like one image evokes the feeling of air. One image evokes the feeling of earth. 
And I'm just like, hmm. And Daigon just has thinking face on right now. Helping together. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> And obviously, this is just a, you know, it's a theory, but it seems a bit, well, it's definitely something to investigate, just in case. You want me to ask my, my grandfather? Mm. I... I don't think your grandfather is the person to ask about nee. this, like he'll know about the overall hierarchy of, of you know, powerful earth elemental beings but he wouldn't know yeah that's what i mean like like any weird thing that's affecting all the planes i, mean, I suppose so yeah. If you, yeah i mean to ask the to... elemental lord of fire by any chance uh, i mean if you have him on uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. Let's just say i have him on retainer <laughs> very good I'm not and sure you, how you connected feel to about uh, is this show too at any time or uh... thankfully no he seems like a bit of a bastard yeah yeah he's, we may uh, have uh, pissed in his backyard he's on his way out you make it sound like they're gonna put a fucking head out then um, they Isn't basically that a plan? Have... I don't want to know <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah, the less I know the better probably probably this isn't far off being ready so we're actually having a proper meal for once, so everyone sit the fuck I down. I haven't eaten for what feels like... Well, I've been given the bare minimum to not die for the past time, so I could really You should do, feel... I could really Really, do some food. really fucking special, because I do not cook often. Take it easy, though. All right, Vala, you don't want to eat too much after having so little. You can actually... Yeah, I made that mistake. It was bad. Oh, right, when you learned you had to eat for the first time, right? Yeah. It took it took a few times of Nelly dying. Is she always as full of shit or Yeah, pretty much. She sort of takes everything with a pinch of salt or rather a whole fucking handful of salt and Dagon had to remind me to eat for like a solid few months. <laughs> this well, I mean sure that's really fascinating. Cool. Almost She dying. likes to generate this aura of mistruths. To avoid anyone actually knowing anything about her, because God forbid, there's a whole guise. Don't of analyze me. Lies, and it's hard to tell when she's actually, you know, being vulnerable. See, in a different life, you would have been a really good asset to have for the nightwebs. Yeah. You still could be cast. We could ship you off today. <laughs> you might be. We don't fucking know. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have no idea. And I just I can that, like... sheath sword. I mean, no, we we've all been in the baths together. <laughs> I was gonna say we know she has no tattoos we of spiderwebs. So. Yeah, but I can I can disguise things. I mean, I've been Shush, hiding the. I'm you she here. is not <laughs> helping green... her case, is she? I've been hiding the green mottled skin for ages. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Oh. I knew it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Right, so I, I quite frankly, <laughs> don't think that we should engage in this conversation anymore and humor her, quite frankly, uh, stupid joke. Uh, mm. So everyone sit the fuck down. I'll put and my bandana back on before we sit down rude. for food. I will pass everyone a plate of honey glazed rabbit with, nom, nom, with nom. carrots and some herbs. Om nom nom. Hell yeah. Ooh, nom. Nom. Om nom nom nom. I also made sure to check the carrots for any like fingertips from Kess peeling them. <laughs> no. Like her... Seems like all of her digits oh. are still uh, intact. Luckily, she's not orange, so it was easy to tell. Mm. True. Alright, you have your meal. Um, is there anything is it any good? Yeah. Yeah, it's alright. You know, it's better than, you know, eating rations, definitely. And Valor hasn't eaten proper for almost two weeks, so he doesn't... Fucking, he's just happy to have, to have something, you know? Like, it's not like you're trying to please a very hard crowd. Yeah, <laughs> right. We're not, we're not freaking crazy. No, 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 no. a pompous rich boy. <laughs> must have been the thing of fucking rations for the past I eight, three weeks. I distinctly... I mean, I distinctly requested quail. This is rabbit. 
Who the fuck requests a bird this big? Like <laughs> rich, dumb idiots. That's true. So That's a true. I'm he not. Oh, he's not even on. rich. Literally <laughs> broke. He used to be yeah. rich and he used to be dumb. He likes to pretend he's rich. I. <laughs> like, like, she's rich, fucking dumb, anything. and like, full of enthusiasm for this adventure. <laughs> and. <laughs> be rich, dumb, and full of rum. I hope. <laughs> All, you guys are, uh, y'all are really some. Um, <laughs> y'all are, are really something. Are. Is this when Jax oh, tells going... us that he has like a religious reason to not eat fucking cat, rabbit? Cat, cat on the bed, cat on the floor. I'm going to attune to my bracers. Mm -hmm. They're just a standard D&D item, so you should be able to just splink them in your inventory. Well, oh, I've nice. never heard the verb splunk before. They give you <laughs> plus two to your attack rolls and damage rolls with longbows and short bows. Yeah, that's disgusting. I... Why would you give braces to the man that has Eldritch Blast? Because sometimes called, he wants to shoot it's things. The random loot table for dungeon crawl sessions. Dot io. Dot co. Dot uk. Dot biz. Dot gov. Go on. <laughs> Fill in level of character that will find treasure. Hit generate. Get list of suggestions. Pick one that fits the party. Smile. Pick one. And you didn't <laughs> pick the fucking enchanted strap on. No. My second choice, to be fair. Is is that still, I mean, it's still else? in the fort. It's in there somewhere. You've definitely not gotten everything. So, like, if you want to go back, oh get shit, it. we didn't check the the officer's personal like bedrooms. <laughs> Could we try and open up those? Chests. <clears throat> yes. Are we just gonna oh, find like someone oh. crammed into one of these chests? Imagine. I mean, you've got to be careful with them. Yeah, yeah, because they go. Yeah, because yeah, they. they those. The contents yeah, are destroyed if you fail the check. We'll definitely be able to open them. I've yeah, already opened one. one. Right, but that but doesn't it's mean not it can happen. A guarantee. I don't think it's and we might be able to yeah. someone who has a much better chance of getting them open. You know cool. what? I think if Kess is confident in her abilities, I oh, actually sorry. have faith in her. Oh, that's well, so well, maybe maybe a Lazarin can provide oh, a little bit of. Yeah, I can. I will guide. guide. And if Valor has any blue locks, maybe Valor can help Kess out. I don't know. Just lean over to Kess, like, if you fuck this up, I'm never vouching for you again. I don't think you can double up on guidance, but could be wrong. Uh, no, because spell effects don't stack if they're the same spell. True. We went through all this shit, didn't we? True. Oh, yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I will. I will. If ask Jax if he could get the uh, chests out of the bag. Get his fucking chests out. Get your chests out for lads. Gets one out at a time and holds them like that. <laughs> oh, fucking big, heavy chests out there. It's just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, he's got back support. Rounded. No. Um, and I will guide Kess for each time she does this. Basically. Okay. Uh, so there's two chests, right? So he's going to do the first yeah. one, Kess? Yep. Um, Extra D4. Just chest one or chest two? Chest one. Okay. Oh! Oh, yeah. And then D4. Oh, that's a six. different DCs. 24. Okay. You open the lock uh, and you uh, open up the chest. Uh, you find a bunch of coin purses with a total of 250 gold in that one chest, as well as a pack of six healing potions. Oh, shit. And six pairs of manacles. Magic manacles, normal manacles, or kinky manacles? Uh, just normal manacles. All three. Damn. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay, chest number two. I'll guide you again. That one was even funny. What the fuck? 22. 28. 28? Yeah. Okay. Again. It opens. Shock horror. Um, give me a second. I 
Hoping you'd fail. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have a, it's just like this fucking document all over the place, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll be me next week. Frickin' frick. I just had it. Where did it go? Bop. Ooh, bop. <clears throat> <laughs> Insert Jeopardy waiting. Oh no, wait, don't. MCA. Fuck. It's a mashup. It's a it's a fucking remix. Whoa. <laughs> you know what? Someone somewhere has made a drum and bass remix of the countdown theme. Oh, 100 percent Someone's done like a game. Someone's definitely like a game show remix medley of like. Yeah. If they haven't, I'm disappointed in the internet. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. That's that's, that's so. Uh, you crank that you. soldier boy. Oh. <laughs> Most powerful. Find a. As well as um, 150 gold pieces, Ooh. you find an amulet, which looks as follows. Hold on. Jewelry. Uh, Why, am I jewelry? Why is the baby on fire? <laughs> well, um, making fucking it's a silver references. and turquoise <laughs> amulet. It's a what? Uh, silver, silver and turquoise. And turquoise. Um, definitely, like, seems magical to you. Um, yeah. So I really pick up. I'm gonna put the two lion statues. In this like pile of stuff, mm -hmm. so we just kind of got everything we kind of got is in this. Can pile. we identify the amulet? Yeah, the amulet. Of Meanwhile, course. I just start setting things in piles. So I have I put uh, the six healing potions, and then I just start separating the coins into six piles. <laughs> Luckily, it divides horrifically into forty. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this amulet, as as um, Valor takes like a minute to identify it. I don't know how useful it will be for you in particular, but it is an amulet that um, protects people that wear it against uh, turn undead. I don't know how how useful it's going to be for you, but if you were, oh, so we just fucking slap it on a goalie boy, and then they're they're all good. Mm, sort of, yes. It's a very strange thing to have. It's an amulet of protection from turning, so if you have any undead friends that are trying to live among society, you know, I guess you can pass them that. Well, I mean, who, whoever it is, best reveal yourself now, you know? No? Nobody? Not me. Well, no, when, I'm only when the counting's dead. done eventually, we can. there can be six piles of 66 gold pieces. Just kind of running, and there's four gold pieces left over, so Dagon will just take those four and give them to Valor. Here's your 66, Elazarin. Here's your 66, cast. Valor, if you're two weeks under torture, here's four gold four. pieces. We saved him! This is our it's finder's our fucking chest. You think Yeah. That pocket sits. Thank you. Four gold is enough to get by on when he goes to his little safe house. Yeah. For sure. Can nip to Tesco Express and pick up some ready meals. Mm -hmm. Valor shops at co-op. Let's be real. Valor shops at co-op. <laughs> Does he? All right. So no, with that super sad day. Why? Uh, no more Rest equal pockets. No. Well, yeah, and they they're all equal sixty nine. Oh, now, oh yeah. Yep. Now they're not. You could just give someone. You could give that gold to Valor. Fuck off. <laughs> I last really would give that money to Valor. <laughs> um, <laughs> is there anything you guys want to do well. before it's about that time to you know? Think about uh, getting some rest. We should put no. the manacles in the bag of holding because there's room now because the chests aren't in there. Because we can just leave these chests. We should, 
We should put, we should dig a hole for these chests and make it look like there's buried things here. So when PSM and might come along and, hit, and bury nothing. No, 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 no. In the morning, let's all take a shit in the chest. Oh, <laughs> gross. Then bury them. What's wrong with you? And then put a big X on the ground. No, because the chests... If we if we relock the chests, they're gonna destroy what's in. Uh, yeah, right. No, it's a, could take a shit if you, in it and you, the if shit you will be shut destroyed. them again, you're fine. It's whenever somebody no, like, like tries to open it. If we like relock it and then relock it, where, and if they try and open it, it and fuck it up, it's just gonna yeah. Go, yeah, 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 and yeah, obliterate yeah. the shit inside. Is there Literally. any way we could try and safely remove the the mechanism that does the Melty shit Destroying. or whatever the fucking described. Can we try Definitely not with the tools you have at hand right now. No. This is a very like intricate. You need like a proper like work area for for is you there... to attempt that. Okay. Second question: Is there anything we have that we want to get rid of and make sure it, nobody ever, you know? I've got an old long bar in front there. No, I meant like, like this is my fucking letter of. Committing some fucking grave sin and this Why don't and the you other. keep documentation of them? You really seem like the type to be carrying that sort of shit around with you. I don't it's like you know, that. It's like, I, I actually do carry a lot of around wanted, with me. A wanted poster of yourself? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm no, gonna... I just carry around a lot of forged uh, confession to all of my crimes. Like, and every time sign... I commit another crime, I just add another oh, one off. Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna sign to Kess. Not... Hypothetically, that, that letter we have imagine if we put that in there and someone goes through all the trouble of digging this up unlocking it seeing it's protected and then finds that letter i'd be i'd be terrified wouldn't you be terrified i think that'd be pretty funny that would be so funny what? but we have to make <laughs> sure they don't see board, the letter so out they'd have to read it if we put it in there what do you think with. um oh, we just didn't... Oh. and answer in sign language this one please <laughs> I mean, I could rewrite it in code. Ah, that's that's so much more effort. And they'll be like, what are you doing? And questions. No, I ah, whatever. Something. It was a fun idea. It was a funny idea. But... Right. Let's just before, leave the chest here. Before we yeah, let's, we'll just leave it on the side. Let's leave the chest here, put nothing in them. Or, or like, you know, scraps of paper or something with nothing on them. Relock them, and then someone finds them, tries to unlock them. If they get destroyed, they'll be really angry at themselves, and that's funny. And if they manage to open it, and there's nothing inside. They'll also be angry at themselves. So, okay, I have that's one fine. final suggestion. Hmm. Does anyone got any parchment on them? Nope. I don't really want to take a page out of my journal. I don't think I do. I, I just hold my journal closer, like no. Nope. <laughs> I do. Uh, I have a okay. sheet of parchment. Uh. Can I borrow it for a second? Well, no, I guess I can't give it to you back. You can't Can I have a piece of parchment, it. please? You may have the only piece of parchment I have. I will take this piece of parchment, and I'm going to very quickly sketch... Is it an already blank piece of parchment? Or is there yes. something on it? Okay. There's nothing on it. <laughs> that we can see. Yeah. I'm gonna Important. sketch uh, a Lazarin, just flicking fucking double bird. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna put that in the bottom of the chest, and then on the top oh, I'm me. just gonna carve like the the. Did I'm gonna have... attempt to carve the spiderweb <gasps> symbol on the top. Wait. Again, Sign, like... Signing to Kess. Do we think? What are the odds that we realistically think Spider Gang are gonna come get these? Like, do they think? Do we think anything in there was important enough? They're gonna come, maybe find these. I'm. Maybe the amulet. I don't know. That was in sign language, you don't know what I said. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, that's what uh, I mean. So I was going to say, because if they, signing, si still signing to guess, if they did care enough to come get these, they open it, and we put that letter in it. Do you think the person who wrote that letter is enough to scare them away? And maybe they wouldn't fuck with us anymore? Because they'd be like, oh, I don't want to get involved with that. Maybe. I doubt it, but maybe. I also doubt it, but... It would be fun to try. <laughs> I 
All right, maybe if we they decide to leave it here, we try and slip it in right at the end so they don't have time to ask about what, it. I'm, what yes. letter are we talking about? You know what it is, Dutch. Session zero. Session zero. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah, that one. Oh, hold on. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> right. I'll, I'll just like to guess. I leave it at your discretion. I don't know. It's probably a really stupid idea, but I, I spent too much time with you, and this is what's happened. You're welcome. <laughs> it's Brooks actually gonna like leave it in here. the bottom of one of these chests. I have placed looking out as to whoever opens it. A sketch Lazarin. of a Lazarin flicking the bird at them. That's why I thought they might come back and get it, because that's why specifically a Lazarin, because they were after a Lazarin, and now it's like the picture of a Lazarin going, ah, fuck you, like, you can't catch me. And then I've carved also... to the nightweb symbol in the top with, I... with a dagger in the hopes that anyone who finds it, like, if they're in the know and tailing us, they'll see it's for them. I would like to try and slip the letter in as you're closing it without using Without anyone noticing oh, it, I'll how? assist by making a without here, the guy who's closing here, it. Here, here, I'll assist by making a distraction. Like as he's closing it, I'll um like tap Brooks on the shoulder as we turn and start signing to him. So as he's still closing it, but he like turns around to look away, Cass can and then because Brooks is trying to learn sign language, so I'm hoping he might think it's words he knows and he'll want to try and respond because he's trying to be my friend. Bell, yeah, you get advantage hopefully. DM discretion. Also, you just don't get disadvantage. Yeah, basically. I mean, or that. that. That would depend how interesting Diagon is at that moment, surely. I and I'm I'm signing very excitedly, like I've had some genius idea, and like to Brooks okay, to okay. try First and make it all, seem then, very important. Laura, performance check. Oh shit! Oh no! Negative. Do I need to roll a against fire. Laura's Here we performance go. check or? Oh! Oh shit! Okay, with a negative one, eighteen. Okay. Ah. Bell. Slide a hand check. Brooks. Just a straight perception check. I was going to give you advantage, but make it straight rolls. Thirteen. Fourteen. Oh my god. Yes. Somehow. The combination of, of, of this <laughs> bullshittery makes it so that and Kes really quickly just better. like slips in a letter in the chest uh, as you're kind of like t facing away, looking at Diagon, closing it. Do I accidentally slam Kes's hand? No. Fuck now my off. passive perception's 15, right? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you are not involved. Don't get involved now, prick. <laughs> I see even better. There. What I was excitedly signing to Brooks is, "Hey, hey, Brooks, look over here. Don't look behind you. Ha, you don't know what's going on." <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I don't um, recognize a single one of those words. You, you haven't. Hi. <laughs> you haven't even taught me the sign from like Brooks's name. Like. Yeah. Yeah, it's it you? it's you there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. She might have signed Brooks. Um, okay. Well, he doesn't know. Shall we, uh, you know, before we head into like I guess the the, the keeping guard at night, quickly take our break here, and then we'll Arr pick this up after uh, after our yeah. break. So I'm back and Brooks going, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> die, 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 right. I don't, Gamers, I thank you so much for being here. Appreciate all the subs and all that stuff. If you're new around here, the follow button. We play a lot of the indie and stuff here. So or you know, else, or else, or else, Where Duke knows? gets it. Um, Wait, what? Huh? Wait, you're gonna peg him if we don't get follows? No, I'm gonna get Piper to do that. Wait. Anyway, we'll see you guys later. No, no, no one Piper gonna <laughs> pipe him? Any trash Hello can bag is there. in the chat? Hello! Hi. Hello! General hey, Kenobi, we're back, baby. Free. Back with the web code. Don't drink that. Alrighty, so, let's just get straight back into it. Uh, what? You've had your food. It's ready to yep. hit the hay. Is there anything, anyone, you know, what's the what's the order of, of keeping watch? How's that going to be arranged? Uh, basically, I'll, I'll wait until, like, last minute to put up the dome. Because that takes me 11 minutes to fucking put up. So mm -hmm. I'm going to start, like, 
ritually doing I, that. I will harass a Lazarin. Are, um, are we sleeping early? Uh, I think it's probably better to sleep early than to sleep later. Just because early start, get out, get going. Just wondering if I'm going to need to see in the dark or whether it's still going to be sort of twilight when we're well, rested. Maybe I won't need it. It'll be dark at some point. Well, right, yeah, but if I'm taking first oh, rest. Uh, first watch, sorry. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> It'll be dark at some point. Well, yeah, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I would like oh. to be talking today and just be like, I have no fucking clue any of what you just signed to me. And then, so I just sign um, more slowly. I do the sign for thank you, and I point to the remnants of my food. Okay, that I actually understand. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she was just saying how good it was. I don't know. I nod. I nod. Yes, when uh, Davian says that. I have no reason to not believe you. <laughs> <laughs> It was it was pretty good, all things considered. You know, a few, few leaves considered? from a few bushes really add a little something. What you do know? you mean, all things considered? We're in the middle of a forest with no real way to cook proper food, and yeah. well, that's because nobody's ever asked me to cook when we're in a city. That's because there's always other people to cook for us when we're in a city. The perks of being rich, I guess. <laughs> right. Precisely. For watches, um, to I'm be happy fair, to that do was the worse than hour. pretty much anything we've had in this. I'll do. Season. I'll do whenever, middle or beginning or end. I'll do. I feel like I could sleep for the next week or so, but you if don't you have to worry any, about watches. Any points Bella. need me to keep an eye out for things and just let me know. Nah. No, you'll be fine. You rest up. I'll be taking first watch and whoever wants I'll to. Take, I'll take second. And then oh. I'll take the rest. Are we, given that we're on the run from shady fucking groups, are we better to do two to a watch? Yeah, that might be a good idea. <laughs> actually thinking about it. So, do you actually think about things? No. I mean, no. Right. <clears throat> Jax is an old man, he's an early riser, so he can take last watch with Kess. Okay. So, um well, Kess needs half as much sleep as anyone else. Well, yeah. that's what I mean. So Kess is going to be... So, four, four shifts. First shift, a Lazarin. No, I'd be taking second shift. Oh, so first okay. second. Yeah. First shift, Davian. Davian. Davian will probably be fine on his own. Well, I'll have one. Second shift, a Lazarin and Dagon. Or a Lazarin and me. Thumbs up. That was good. A Lazarin and Dagon. And which means I will... Take their shift with Cass. And then, and then Jackson. And then Jackson, Jackson Cass for fourth. Cass. Just in case. That way there's two people in case one person gets shot in the throat. Lovely. Well, they should. I do mean. And. For that. Dargan managed all right with the. You know. <laughs> <clears throat> fucking it's more blood. that way one person can't just be grabbed while I'm watching the rest of us are asleep as we, we shouldn't in theory be able to get ambushed too hard with the dome yeah but they're magic fox aren't they so yes I know. the dome's what 10 feet across or something mm, I still wouldn't radius. want them still wouldn't want them stood outside of it <laughs> okay I'm going you in say my 10 foot radius Ten foot radius, yeah. Yeah, so it's twenty a, foot diameter. It's a big fucking heart. Yeah, it's much bigger than everyone thinks. Yeah, I will make it look so it blends into the foliage, and I'll also make the colours inside so it's always like slightly knowing Kess's fear of darkness. I brought I'll leaves, it, I can put leaves on it. I will make yeah. it kind of just slightly like dim, like on the po like the dimmest I can make it of just like there is light here and stuff can still be seen. That's so cute. <laughs> I can I can make it it's a brightness. <clears throat> yeah, Fowler oh. will just like pop into the dome and he just fucking Well right, only last night as a dog for a while, so make the most of those keen dog senses I assume you have. 
and just before I go to go to sleep, I'll give Vigilant Blessing to Davion. Pog. All right. Plus eight and advantage. I'll be the fastest man ever. So, Natural one. <laughs> first watch, uh, Davion, anything you want to do on your watch? Um... I, I do kind of want to have a little little com commune with my man, okay. Pasuth, Loki. Mm -hmm. um, so, oh, well, I guess we're we're not keeping a file or anything because we have the dome. But I'll sort of grasp the uh, amulet and just sort of focus my mind on on contacting Kosuth. See if I get anything back. Um, go straight to avoid <laughs> no. You kind of focus, and uh, as you open your eyes, you can see that there's this <clears throat> humanoid looking individual that's kind of appeared in front of you. Um, pretty much the same way he looks last time you, you, you saw him. When uh, no, it, it just looks like a man with like you know, a fiery, fiery, like covered in flames all around, and like fiery, like kind of like wild hair. I'm <clears throat> praying that this is the right fucking voice mod. Every time. Every time. Uh. Pause, champ. What can I do for you? Uh. Well, just one simple question, really. Do you know what the fuck the override is? His eyes, like. You can see his eyes widen. I'll answer your question with a question. How do you know of this phrase? What do I know? Uh, very, very little. Apparently it's been tossed around by some old mad men, but the, the Nightweb seems to have taken an interest in it. The override was... It's real. Right. It was a weapon, a, a tool, that the dragons created in the midst of our war as an attempt to gain control. They made it, but thankfully, we were able to take them down before they were able to use it. So you're saying there's another party searching control? Well, given the Nightweb's MO doesn't seem outside of the realms of possibility. They are probably after it in some way or another to have a greater control on everything. Well, I don't know where it is. So, but it's but it's a thing, and it's bad. It's, it's real. When when the war ended, it was given to Grumbar, the Mental Lord of Earth, for safekeeping. And he has not told any of the other Mental Lords its location. Just in case, you know, say, it's this show. We're wanting to change things up, but they couldn't because they wouldn't know the location. Only Grand Bar is aware of its whereabouts. And we can trust him to keep it safe? He's the most level-headed. The mental lord. As fits with that plane. Stoic, not easily swayed by others. Mm. 
Once we're done sailing around the fucking seven seas, might it be wise to seek out the Earth Lord or possibly not? Would that make it worse? Would that give it away? He finds out people are aware of the existence of the override certain safety protocols come to play. So we should we should find him and let him know, alright. No. No? I think this is something me or any of the other elementals should bring to his attention. As far as trust and all that. Well, let him know that, you know, there's a small gang of ragtag fuckwits with boots on the ground on your side and trying to get to the bottom of the whole thing, at least. But probably easier for you to get in touch with him anyway. Perhaps after he's been made aware and, you know, your group's position in this uncertain time of the Elementals, Perhaps then you'll be more um, open to making introductions problem. Until then, just leave it to me. Know that you know. When the time comes. Well, I think on my side that's all we have to report. I suppose I should say thanks, because throwing fireballs and shit has been pretty cool. That's your joy. Thank you for that, sir. Yeah, I have a watch to get back to, I'm sure. If anyone's sneaking up on us, I should probably be keeping an eye out. Mm -hmm. The travels, I'm sure we'll be in touch. Yeah. Right. You didn't see anything, did you own him? He'll, uh, you know, he just kind of like slowly fades away from from your your field of view, and Onu kind of looks at you and like kind of does does the, does the you know like head tilt. Yeah. Uh, I f okay, right. I suppose I'll actually keep an eye out for some things now. Oh uh, yeah, make a perception check. Perception check. Uh, should I make one for both Onu and myself? Sure. Okay. Uh, it's a 23 for me, mm -hmm. and a, it's a worse for Onu, uh, wisdom 2, 7, 10 for Onu. Um, as far as you can tell, your watch, pretty quiet, uh, you, you look around and even for you, like, with, like, you knowing that the, the only reason you can see the bubble or the, the hut is because you know it's there, otherwise there's, like, you're convinced that there's no way. That anyone, did like, unless they like happen to bump into it, would would discover it's there. It's it's blending in pretty well. And uh, yeah, no, it's quiet. As we go into actual like you know darkness now, from the sun being gone and the moonlight kind of being blocked by the oh. My oh. Discord just what? went like. Mine too. Out Discord of just read for no reason. Yeah. That was weird. That oh. was weird. The hell. Yeah, I wasn't in full screen, so. All right. Anyway, anyway that's weird. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, the moonlight's being blocked a bit by the by the the canopy of the the trees and all that. Um, seems like it's a pretty pretty chill, relaxed, pretty quiet, night. Calm, cool quiet. Night. Yeah. All right. I will. Uh, I guess wake up. Elijah, you're in and go the fuck to sleep. Okay. Uh, now we'll all wake up and I'll see that, like, Daigon hasn't been woken up, so I'll wake up Daigon as, as well. Mm hmm. And then I will, um, I'll just sit on the floor, um, go into my bag and pull out my grandfather's notebook. Mm hmm. That. And just read through 
just this mad rambling sort of beware the override, beware the override, beware the override, over and over again. This, mm -hmm. this constant just madness. It's getting more and more scribble and just stare at it. Is that uh, journal like time stamped at all? Or is it just like from beginning to end? Just uh, Originally was time stamped. I didn't have like a date in mind, but like just as it just gets more and more incoherent as it goes mm -hmm. on. Like it starts yeah. off like quite like I had a dream on whatever of this type of thing and then it gets just to more just being like yeah. you barely being able to make out words but if you know that what well, it says previously obviously you can see that it kind of says those scribblings and it's just mm -hmm. more, more layered upon layered. Yeah. And I'll just be looking at this old book um, and kind of half keeping an eye out but not not really more focused on trying to see if there's anything else in this that like I've missed now that I know it's actually real and not just like madness that I've always just um thought it was. Make an investigation check. Ooh la la. Uh sixteen. Sixteen? Okay. You're, you know, the, the the deeper into the journal you go, it just becomes more and more just beware the over, beware the over, right? But where it starts, you can see that there's. You, at first, you didn't notice it because that's where the like beware the override stuff started. It seems that it was like written over it, but oh. you do manage to find a phrase that you hadn't. Um. That hadn't piqued your or like grasped your attention before, um, which just says where the elements meet. Oh, um, I just sort of sit there and stare at it, and I'll look up at I can just kind of whisper to us, like, didn't happen to have, like, your writing paper on you, do you? I'll nod and pull it out. Don't... With the elements meet doesn't mean anything to you, does it? Uh, I show him in the non, just, like, talking journal, and again, the sketch of the those three icons, mm -hmm. and take off my bandana and unfold it to show that they match. Um... Which again reminded the sketches, uh, a mountain range with jagged snow-capped peaks and fiercely blowing wind and snow, and then um, uh, peaceful rolling sand dunes with a gentle breeze under a bright sun, and then the mouth of a cavern with a light shining from the back of the cavern, but the entrance is dark. Um, that's the light and stuff is more in the drawing. The, the bandana obviously it just kind of looks like a cave. That's hard to embroider. Um, and then in the talking journal, uh, right. Uh, it'll take a minute, <laughs> a bit of paragraph. It's the um, uh, <laughs> and label them. And so the the mountains are known as the everlasting peaks, the dunes are known as the tranquil dunes, and the caves are known as the bright caverns. These are the names of the three clans uh, of the village where I lived, but no one knew why we were called that because none of these things were found where I lived. Like it was pretty basic like grasslands and a little bit of forest and i always thought it was kind of weird that no one knew why our clans were called this and i thought for years maybe if i found the answer that maybe they i would have been accepted there and i've kind of given up on looking for it a bit but it's in the back of my mind and it'd be cool to find out one day and then after talking today um i just start i take the sketch in the journal the the pictures now i add to it and over the mountains, I put ice question mark, earth question mark, air question mark. And then under dunes, I just have earth question mark, heat slash sun question mark or fire. And then under the cave, again, like earth question mark and then like light dark and then just go back to the talking journal. I mean, there's kind of it feels like grasping at sh straws, but there's kind of elemental connotations to them. And if maybe there's a place where all three of these things meet, it would make sense why there were three groups of tabaxi living together under that name. 
more than a coincidence. I'll Again. put my bandana back on. <laughs> well, that's... The theory of how we've been brought together for a greater reason. My... This book, I can't see I'm kind of still kind of holding the book, like open it to half on a page. It's the journal of my grandfather. Um, when he went... So I mentioned the override and... He's mentioned where the elements meet. I never noticed it before because I never really read this. Why would I? You know, I thought it was an old man going crazy, but I kept it just in case I could ever find a cure. Because if it fit my grandfather, it fit my father. Who knows it could affect me or my brothers. Uh, I write in a talking journal, maybe in descending into the mines, your grandfather met the earth version of like Kusuth and Istisha, and maybe he shared knowledge of the override and it was, but it was a lot for a mortal. And that phrase is the only coherent way that he said mm -hmm. it. But the fact that you are looking for this place and have been, and now suddenly you've got somewhere that sounds like a location to where the override may even be or where to go. Yeah. Okay, the one thing is there's one element very lacking in mine, and I just draw some quick waves. I mean, there's oases in deserts, caves tend to have water in the lakes in them. I guess the, the sun of the the dunes, the desert seems a bit of a stretch for the fire part too, but I don't know. Who knows? But oh, it's all deeply troubling. This <laughs> I'd almost prefer it if it was all completely unconnected. At least then it's just a random string of things that's happening, and we can be on the whims of coincidence. But this is boring, dude. Either someone is drawing now, us this together. Was... Or this is some weird destiny. <laughs> Out of character. This is some children's yeah. TV show. Yeah. Like, Belle's the embodiment of wa of air. And then we have Davian with fire over here. Your family's earth. All we need is someone to become water. And then it's like, we're the override. The power of friendship. We held the power in our sands. And, <laughs> I just and then I all together we make the old... <laughs> we form like a Power Ranger joint, like, fucking human Megazord, creature thing. Megazord. And we were the override. No, what's anyway. the fucking... Dakota Ring show. What the fuck is that yeah. one? <laughs> <laughs> Power of anyway. Spinor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway. But... I'm cancelling this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> the only fucking mid the only major dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is all your fault. <sighs> Just... We have to mess up all four elements to defeat the Fire Lord. Like, it's that simple. Why did you guys write, like, fucking. Yeah, but you're the Fire Lord. Greater powers in your backstories? No, I'm. Super I was dumb. purely thinking of finding some cool place geographically. I, did I just not made a this, shadow so... government, okay? I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, legit, I was just kind of channeling Sanji from One Piece with the all blue. Yeah. That's what I was doing. when I, I just wanted a, I just I wanted a genie warlock with daddy issues. I have absolutely And I found a way to connect backstory. it all together. Smile? Yes. Cringe. Yeah, you're Cringe. Cringe. Really. Okay. Don't know what doing. you're talking about. My backstory is literally just man used to be blacksmith came to new continent oh absolutely 100 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. nothing more man turns out your dad up. is actually an elemental lord of the blacksmith <laughs> it's like what <laughs> yeah, the fifth would you be weird <laughs> because he's not my actual dad exactly it's fucked about it. no i'll um just that doesn't kind of have this this look the uh, look he's had i think for the past like three weeks of just like on the brink of like a mental breakdown <laughs> of just <laughs> okay but like just another thing to add to like great this is happening now to us maybe fantastic. Jax, Jax was a pirate pirate sail on water Jax is blue Jax yeah! is a water <laughs> that's why he never he boy sweating it is weird yeah, he never gets in the bath with us all because he can't actually get into water <laughs> he did he get just... in the bath I have, I, have, I have notes of all his tattoos therefore must have seen him in bath or, or, or when he was the asleep. Last time he... <laughs> or. <laughs> oh, anyway. 
And then I'll just kind of I'll put my notebook where I'm well. Fantastic, I suppose. And I'll keep watch just in fucking That's silence. Right. Convenient, I convenient. We got put on watch together. Mm. Don't start this now. I don't need every action we do to be a coincidence. <laughs> hey, that was me, y'all. You That's guys, me. you guys picked your partner. Just, yes. Yeah, that was That's, what I was, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't need this. I don't need my life right now. <laughs> um, yeah, just make perception yeah. checks for your watch, please. Technically, it was Cass. I Brooke thought, suggested it. Oh, yeah. Either yeah, yeah. you two IG. or me and Elazarin. I rolled a 17. 17? What did you roll, Kuba? 15. Okay. Um, again, it's a quiet one tonight. And uh, your watch goes off without a hitch, pretty much. You occasionally. At one occasional... point, when it's quiet and Elazarin's focusing intently, I'm going to try and just like hide him and then just do a soundless, like, because I can't talk, but rather than going like, boo, and scare someone, I just take my little meerkat plushie and just like, pop it on his shoulder and try and like surprise him and see if he jumps and looks and like sees the creature <laughs> he <laughs> rolls for it roll a perception check am i am i like <laughs> <laughs> i mean, roll a 21 so unfortunately i'm like i probably hear you like your footsteps yeah. like on an edge. <laughs> uh, i i like think i can do like the little like you know like a half little like oh god there's something there suddenly in my i corner my eye like i take it <laughs> adorable <laughs> Just like walking it up his shoulder over his head. Yep, that's what I do, like a child. <laughs> and they're like mid reading, just like a meerkat in my face. Like, cool. I, I mean, you know all the world, you know all the words that journal anyway, right? So, like, mm. yeah, exactly. exactly. So you don't need to look at it. Watch is boring, <laughs> nothing's happening. The occasional, like, I, owl hoot, you know, that's pretty much all you hear. I will, um, very gently, and by gently, I mean I'll kick Brooks awake. Hello. Look up, Brooks. Brooks, look up. Fuck. Brooks. <laughs> oh, whoa. I'm assuming Kess will just appear in her vessels, out of her vessels, so. Yeah. We get up time, big boy. <laughs> what you fucking <laughs> kick me for? I thought we were getting attacked. I was about to put a, an axe in your arm. <laughs> yes, and when you're being attacked, a light nudging with someone's foot is a cool sign that they're going to attack you in the night. I didn't expect you to fucking boot me one. Boot you, it's the little tapping on my foot. He's sensitive. <laughs> I've got a bruise there, okay? Did anything exciting happen? I, uh... I take out all the drawings and the notes and put it out like conspiracy theorist style. And it's all Pepe spread out. And I, just start, I just start pointing to all the things and making like a triangle. And then we... I, I signed a cast a summary of our conversation. I I will cast expedition on Brooks. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, no, just we found some more connections in this already very connected group. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on with you guys. <laughs> oh, if, you'll find if, your connection soon enough. My connection is just I'm just fucking along for the ride here. So, I mean, you're adopted. <laughs> DM vigorously nods. No. <laughs> What do you mean? I, yeah, I'm adopted. That's that. There could be a connection in your birth family that you don't know about. Oh, but I'm not so... an elemental or a Ganassi. I'm a. Tiefling. Oh, but when you're, when it turns out I'm you're like. I'm neither of those things. I just point. To oh, myself. two things are pretty fiery. When you're Actually, someone... that's a, it's a sweeping generalization that depends on the tiefling. Okay. Hey. Cold. Brooks just like knocked an elemental lass up at some point, and now that baby is like oh intertwined God. in this all somehow. Oh my! Would, How dare fucking... you fucking out me in this? <laughs> you... Everyone's like... asking who Brooks's dad is. Doesn't realize that Brooks is Kazuya's dad. Is the dad? Is the dad. <laughs> oh my God! Just like his first one of his first hookups, like once he left, <laughs> like, a brothel somewhere. Because of weird timey wimey shit on the elemental planes, the baby is like already like seventy years old. <laughs> yeah, it's older than him. Yeah. <laughs> <Go already. laughs> can I can I in the vessel beforehand uh talk to Blue just before we keep going? Sure. Let's rewind. Yeah. Of course. So she goes in the vessel and she's like, Blue Hello. Hey <sighs> Do you do you know much about the night webs? The what? Yeah, you that's what I now? thought. So, basically, we've discovered this really creepy group of people. They call themselves the Nightwives because they're weird. 
and um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh it looks like they're gonna fuck with some elemental stuff something to do with an override and they know about my connection to, to you rewind <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's rewind time <laughs> You sure it's override? You sure it wasn't overhaul under draws? No, pretty, pretty override, sure. Override specifically those two words that that's yeah. Well, like, apparently, Lazarus' grandfather like mined a whole bunch of rocks and then came back and was like, "The override is now crazy." And then his dad was crazy, and now we're just waiting for Lazarus to go crazy, you know. Well, to be fair, in his defense. Or in his, like, you know, for your, for your peace of mind. He hasn't gone crazy yet. Now that he has knowledge of the override, he'll be fine. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna get some fuck dream later. Oh, God, no. <laughs> it's not like a, it's not like a thing that just kind of, you know, it's, it's once you know, you know, and you're either mentally capable enough to process it all or... Yeah, well, you're fucking with shit that you're not supposed to be fucking with, and... But, um... Nightweb's override. Yeah. The fuck do they know? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. It looks like... They're really interested in the elemental shit going on on this continent. Which has something to do with the override, so I don't know, well, maybe they're trying to like... The override was created by the dragons to control us, but we stopped them before they were able to use it, and it's been in our, well, I say our, in the elementals' safekeeping ever since. The fact okay. that there's other parties that know about it is also a concern. Yeah. Apparently, they also did research into my connection with the elemental plane of air. And when you say and... research, you were, you were, you know, yelling about diplomatic immunity, right? Well, I mean, with the Tritons, yeah. Hmm. That was fun. And, like, Dashu came into the lake, so there's also that. Of course he did. And, like, transported them to, like, a different place to live. Oh, well, that's pretty nice. So they didn't get... You know, murder. Right. Who else besides this group of nightwebs knows about this override? Just out of, you know, if you had to, like, ballpark estimates. A Lazarus family. But they've all Although gone... They've... <laughs> Most of them. Okay. I think. All right. It's good. It's good. Um, So your group, there's this other group. Anyone else um i don't know i mean the night webs have a lot of power like, they have a lot of people in positions of power so hmm. can you do me a favor mm -hmm. and he'll like look at you and you've never seen him look at you the way he looks at you now like very like eyes piercing through you mm -hmm. you never mention that word mm -hmm. public okay okay Mm-hmm. Good. I'll let, you know, Kosuth and the others know about this, and we'll figure out what to do. Until then, just... Did you find anything out about that flower? Yeah. It's... Not really. It's it's rough. Okay. It's supposed to be extinct, but then you know, it's, it's, I'm working on it. Working on it. Okay. I'll let you Just know as soon as I find anything. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Shit. Everything else, you alright though? You know. Yeah, I told them about me being a half shadow elf, and that went. Oh, thank you. Interestingly. So, interestingly, you mean didn't really go over so well? No. Hmm. Well. Not really. You'll be alright. 
All right. Um, thank you for this bombshell. I appreciate it. And um, you're welcome. If anything else That's I need you, you need you need from me, then just you know you know where to find me. Yeah. See you later. Shh. I won't. All right. I'm gonna rest and then I come out. Okay. Right, so uh, Kess is now out. Uh, Brooks is awake. Anything you guys want to do on your watch? Thanks for teaching me how to cook. I wouldn't say that I have taught you how to cook, but you know how to make a thing, I guess. I didn't know I was so like work intensive. Like How did you think it happened? Well, we have we have people who you know specialize in different things at home. So we had people who like specialize in cooking and learning that craft. But I always kind of thought that they maybe just used magic, and it was just all magic stuff. I mean, I assume I assume someone somewhere food. can cook with magic, but why? Why? I mean, like you know. Uh, there are fucking stories of people summoning feasts with magic and shit like that, but everyone in the world here has to eat. Not everyone has magic. Not everyone can afford magic. Which is weird to me, to be honest, a little bit. Yeah, I can see that, given... You know. But. That's the way it is here. So. I mean, we did sometimes eat at home. It was just mostly like a big formal affair thing. Cooking's not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. But. I mean. Maybe. It's worth you learning some more independence. Maybe. Don't expect me to cook all the time. <laughs> so it's like like home my home rules. It's like a big thing. I mean Nobody ever really fucking asked me to before, so I just never did, and when we're in the city, we tend to buy food, which, you know, we can afford to do, mm. but cooking's weird. Cooking's a, it's something that most people do every day, but it can also be, it, it can have meaning behind it as well like you can cook for someone like hey i made food and then like you can cook for someone like hey this is a gesture of appreciation or thanks or affection or you know there really is so much like random shit that you don't <clears throat> know from here mm, yeah a lot i mean my 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 day-to-day Machine back at home was like disguising myself and then like te learning stuff from the priestess. Yeah, we, and... we we never really mentioned that last time you brought it up. Learning stuff from the priestess? No, disguising yourself. Oh. At home. Right. Well. <laughs> I know. You mentioned your mom's not blue. But... Yeah, I know. Well, she was. We we have a a thing where the the goddesses choose who's in charge of each clan after so many years. And um, when she was chosen, she kind of freaked out really badly. And then she met my dad, 
And then when she found out she was pregnant, she freaked out even more uh, because, well, there's kind of never been a half mark of Shadow Elf since we got evicted <laughs> from the material plane. I would hate to see the family trees there. Mm. 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 There's, there's a few of us. We just kind of separate into different clans. And then some of them, mm. like, leave different clans. And it, it's all very weird. But um, basically, it was, it was a really big secret. Because everyone else in the clan would probably not be happy about it. Especially given that she had such a position of power. So... Okay, but... <sighs> Here's what I don't get. Mm. So... For people that were outcast, surely they would be in a position to not want to outcast someone or to understand what it's like. I'm not sure what they would have done, but they harbor a lot of rage pretty much to anyone who's not an elf. But and then are. even some of the other elves, the, like anyone who's not a Mark of Shadow elf is kind of an enemy. Yeah, but that's the thing. You you are. You're, you're both. You're not not an elf because you're also a Ganassi and you're not not a Ganassi because you're also an elf. To them, I'm just an elf. Because like, well, I mean, when I was a baby, my, my mum used to disguise me. So I had, like, pale skin and blonde hair and whatever. And then when I was old enough, she taught me how to do it. Because, well, I mean, every time she saw me blue, she kind of, like, flinched a bit. So That's as soon more. as I was old enough not to be seen like that anymore, she kind of leapt at the chance. So... Why didn't you disguise yourself here? I did for a little while. And then... I just... Realized I didn't have to anymore. Mm. So I stopped. And it was it was quite weird. Sometimes I would like see my hands and like freak out for a second. And then I'd remember it was fine. No. <laughs> I, don't get me wrong, I got some stick as a kid for, but I never felt like I had to hide who I was, and I can't really imagine how difficult that was. No, it was just normal. Yeah, but it's... Don't get me wrong, you're an asshole at times. <laughs> you can be really fucking difficult. You can be... Intensely annoying. Is this going up. somewhere other yes, than just shut me? up and listen. Oh, this is you can be stuck up, you can be... Downright confusing and... Irritating and... But... You shouldn't have to... You shouldn't feel like you have to hide who you are. Like, it's one thing to choose to, it's another to feel like you have to. I don't know. It's just some. It's, I've always done it. When I was at home, I was hiding that I was gonna see here, I've been hiding that I'm an elf. It's like... It's weird, so it kind of feels like I'm an elf in the fair wild, and then a Ganassi in the material plane. So what did you do here now that we know? And you're not hiding either. I don't know. I guess I can... Well, no, because then if other people here, that becomes a problem. I just kind of thought I'd continue pretending that I wasn't. <laughs> Okay, well, obviously that's a bit fucking late to catch the card on that one with 
us lot, but that's only when we don't have 17 other things to do, we should look into that because I personally would like to know whether or not you have to hide that anymore. I figured there'd be people here who still remember. There are people at home who still remember. Everyone at home still remembers. Yeah, but... And there time. are elves who live on the material plane. Long memories. Especially for traditional stuff. Yeah, but fuck them. They're old, miserable bastards. Nobody really cares for their opinion. I don't know. It's just something to look into when we're not got fucking pirating and kidnap mentors and murder charges and elemental bullshit and oh yeah you're still wanted for murder yeah ironically wanted for crimes i didn't commit that's new it is <laughs> i'm wanted in a few places for awesome that doesn't surprise me <laughs> At all, <laughs> actually. I call bullshit on that one. <laughs> I, and, and, and stealing a horse. <clears throat> Did you also confirm. burn down the <laughs> the stables as you sold dead horse? No. No, there were other horses inside. I only stole like two. There would have been other horses inside for about 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> Sad. Well, the horses would still be inside. Inside, they'd just be dead, right? They wouldn't be horses anymore. They'd be roasty, they'd toasty be... horses. Pat lunch. lunch. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, can I get a perception check of you both, please, for yeah. your what? Oh, uh, I'm not good at these. I am. Yeah, so I'm really into that conversation. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, of course. I got, sure, I got a natural one. Oh boy. I got 24. Oh, that's great, Kes, because you ex see exactly the arrow that flies into Brooks's head. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. I was going to say, we're in a fucking dome. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, oh, I'm shit. Kidding. It's from inside the dome. It's Davian. <laughs> it's Davian. <laughs> I've just stood there fucking long <laughs> He gets a plus two to it now as well. <laughs> no, um, tip, like, gets, like his temple. <laughs> as far as you can tell, not much going on right now. Seems uh, seems uh, clear. Clarity, the plus two is just to damage, not to hit. Oh, is it? Yeah. Good. So it'll do even more oh, yeah. damage as it goes through the side of my skull. Go. Yes. Still kind of pog. Extra damage. Pog. Yeah, it's very pog. Yeah, so as far as your watch goes, seems like a pretty easy night. Um, the sun is slowly, slowly starting to rise. Uh, as Brooks goes for a quick, cheeky couple hours of more sleep, I, I would assume. Yeah, clearly not paying attention. New so I'm, calendar day. I'm going to spend my fucking watch time messing with my journal. Sure. And uh, she wake up Jax, right? I'm going to save yeah. the sake of this. Uh, that watch goes by as well. And you all kind of slowly wake up Fowler. Um... Gets up, does some stretches, and seems a, a, a lot, uh, just a lot better than he was the day before. What do you guys want to do? Well, now we're all awake, now everyone's together. I figured I might as well let you all know the override is a real thing. Um, the Earth Lord has it. We shouldn't talk about it, and we'll probably... Well, Kosuth is going to let the Earth Lord know that it should probably be put away even more hidden than it already is. Oh, Blue is going to tell Kosuth and everyone else anyway. There we go. There you go. We learnt as well in my grandfather's diary. Thank you, Brad. Just to remind me of him. He wrote about the override that he said. About where the elements meet. And Daigon, there's quite a lot of that iconography of meeting elemental. I just areas. take out that picture in my journal, the one with the, the three symbols, and then just the words of various potential elemental connections written around each symbol that are applicable. Okay. So this. Uh, I don't know what it is. 
connection. Grows. Don't like it. I forgot to tell you earlier, Alastrin, but you won't go crazy, so don't worry about that. Oh, fantastic news. Just, you know, all the relevant. If you haven't gone crazy already, you won't go crazy at all. You still believe all. in that coincidence you were talking about yesterday? <laughs> oh, I wish I didn't. <laughs> oh, I, I don't like this. Yeah, I don't what? know what's going on with you lot. I really don't like feeling You have like... a part to play in all this, Brooks. Absolutely you this fucking one. not. <laughs> you know, what if I just left? <laughs> then you're at the whims of destiny, I suppose. We I would be down well, every... I'm always at the whims of fucking something. Everything we've done for days has felt predetermined now. Weeks. If I mean, you, you left... You... Falling into place. You could argue that your leaving is predetermined. Plus, we would be How down a very handsome archer. I mean, if I just disappeared, went rogue. But whatever you signed... decide to do has been predetermined, so. And I signed a guess. If he leaves, he doesn't get to be a pirate. True. If you leave, you don't get to be a pirate. I mean, you can still be a pirate. No, with us, and that's the best kind of piracy. That sounds like the worst kind of piracy. <laughs> that's what makes it the best. Well, now we know. I mean, you're Not also at the whims of Kasuth, so even if you left, you'd still have to deal with him. And yeah, he'd and he'd be, be being... really fucking mad, wouldn't he? He'd be like, oh, you're supposed to fucking do yeah. stop the override and all this and whatever the fuck. So you're probably you and... into it unless you wanted to lose all your cool well, quiet powers. But regardless of all of you are involved or not, um, the other ones out being... You know, you and your uh, your other blue friend. <laughs> Any of the yeah, books I used to read fun. when I was a child, you know, that told stories like this are to believed, then either they'll find out the part to play at some point, or you know, it's just uh, you know, they're just collateral damage or whatever goes wrong. Thanks. Oof. Oh, I wish I, I wish I'd asked last night, but I don't I don't know what might happen if uh, the saucy spiders get the the big the big thing. So well, I don't really want to say the name of it anymore. To, to control the elemental planes, right? Which yeah, they need they get control over to start and uh, control, I don't know if that controlling things is definitely. Um, Become what more is it, right? Become is it more like important with or... them, given their change of leadership not too long ago. Um, they... Is it a weapon? In my head, it's a really big button. Painted really big red. Button. Boom. Mm -hmm. That's it? You know, is it like a scepter of control where you're like, oh, well, you did, take control did of the your and... elemental friends mention anything about its, you know, where it came from? Dragons. 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 Uh, Dragons. So we've had snake gods, elemental bullshit, and now we're fucking with dragons. Cool. Grand. Well, no, because no, you'll, really... you'll find the occasional dungeon. Who knows? The dragon got beaten <laughs> before. Trust me, I know a few places in Aldalon if you ask the right people. I don't think it's safe. The for dragons them to were defeated before they could use the override. So now. So they don't really have it anymore. Dragons aren't really in play. No. For now. Is, unfortunately. Uh, for now, I think we're best not to think about it, as hard mm -hmm. as that might be. We, we've got to go be pirates for... You North Barry. Yeah, misses. And I'm sure at some point along this journey, we'll find out that Jax is some sort of water elemental man, or he's he shagged a kraken once, and now he's got elemental powers, or whatever the fuck, so... <laughs> It's all going to come together, I'm sure. Our next journey on the sea, and it's the only element we're missing. I hate this. Hey. <laughs> I do hate that our, next, our next journey is to the water. Uh, uh, we, also, water witch. <laughs> we also we're did piss off the the, uh, the elemental lord of uh, water. So. Yeah, but what was the other thing where like there was some the sea bitch, whatever, with a Umberly, Umberly, mm -hmm. something like that. The sea hag. No, I'm pretty sure the actual like 
one of her official like nicknames, aliases, is the sea bitch. A lot of pilots yeah. and and that well, name her that. I mean, it must be really hard to have a good skincare routine if you're underwater. So, well, I, I wouldn't know. I don't really spend much time underwater. So maybe she's not that much of a hag. But like all the you know all the salt water, it can't, can't be good for you, right? And dries out the skin, no? Damages the skin. Yeah. What if she's got fish skin? Good point. Good point. Oh man, if Jackson didn't mind, I'd grill him because I bet he's porked her or something, and this is <laughs> all going to come crashing down. At some point during this conversation, I would have like slinked away. Mm-hmm. Lung. On, on like the guise of needing a piss or something, you know, just a reasonable excuse. I'm and just I your piss in this bush. Yeah, and I would like to cast sending. Yeah. To my dad. Hey. With your cock out. Oh, my dad. No, actually. <laughs> um, Did you like, miss piss? Hey, old. dad. Oh. <laughs> you just said, what? Don't, don't mind the noise in the background. <laughs> yeah. No, not actually. Um. What are you sending his way? I will say, um, what do you know of the elemental lords? What haven't you told me? Hmm. And uh, uh, and I I hope this doesn't take you. I, I don't think I can fit all of that in twenty five words, man. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Asked it multiple times. Well, um, no, it's if there's even a fucking like yes answer, it's like gotta write a fucking letter. <laughs> you. Uh... <laughs> Wait a few minutes and uh, hear in the back of your head the voice of your dad. There's a lot I haven't told you. Perhaps it's time. And that's it. I can fucking do it again. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really long piss. Should we check on him? Do it. No, this is only six seconds. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you tell, it takes six seconds to cast. It doesn't take six seconds. Took a couple to minutes speak, for to, to, to find a reply. To be fair, yeah, oh, that's true. true. Well, I mean, I would have like come back and then still just been like, <laughs> just like look up in the distance. I hear this voice of my head like, what the fuck? <laughs> I will. Has is like looking in the dis in the direction you're looking like I think I've got diarrhea guys I'm gonna have to go to that tree again <laughs> <laughs> oh mister oh god I just uh, no I I was just talking he's giving me a kidney still yeah no right no I will just like just like you plan. do like a perimeter sort of walk and I'll mm -hmm. cast sending again okay um don't know when we can talk but the friendly giant in Aldalon is a good place to send a letter. Still in hiding. But I'm sure we'll be able to make it work. I just kind of kick the door a little bit, like scuff my feet a little bit as I'm walking and just kind of go back to the group. As they're still talking about the sea bitch or whatever. <laughs> Sorry about that. So when yeah, should we go on the way? So, I'm just a little upset, to be honest. <laughs> well, I'm going to turn on him into a bird. I'm sad. I need bird. He's <laughs> <laughs> a much better be friend as a dog, but... Light up a little fire, do 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 the ritual, and uh, I, I Doggo, can summon a bonfire for a minute. So fuck him. Doggo disappears, and Ono comes flying out the flames. Ta -da! Like a dove at a wedding, but really fucking big. Really big. 
really big. That's a that's a pretty cool entrance for him. Oh, he's going to be so at home on the sea as well. Mm -hmm. Such a, he's going to have a great time out there, you know? Flying around. Grand old time. Open range. Beautiful. And who somehow gets seasick. Just... Oh. <laughs> Infinite fish for him to catch while, while you know, vibing. Just like sticking his like, big old beak in the water, catching a couple fishies. Yeah, we'll see how he deals with the salt water, though. He's probably going to be really upset about it. <laughs> so, I think they usually deal in like swamps and stuff, right? <laughs> True. The captain right. said I could sit up in the bird's nest. Where's so this? Onu can be up there with me. It's about big enough for Onu, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. We need to get moving as soon as possible, so luckily with that <laughs> dumb, there's not much to pack up. We can just sort of get moving. If we, um, not fair. if we keep up the same pace we kept up yesterday, we'll reach our destination somewhere in the evening. Then go to my safe house. And we can relax there for uh, for the night at least, and then figure out what to do the next day. Cass is wearing her pirate hat. Okay. Okay. Uh, you start traveling, and it's a, it's a nice day. It's uh, you kind of clear the forest area and go back go back into the open, just like the the open, like kind of kind of faint hillside landscape of this side of, uh, of Keldar, or this particular area of Keldar. Um, <clears throat> and as the hours go by, uh, you catch the occasional... Uh, the occasional traveler on the roads, uh, give, you a little, give you a little nod as they, as they pass by, and that's about it. Um, and eventually, if there's anything you guys want to do on your day of travel, but if not, we can just... Go over that, and towards the evening, you reach the outskirts of what seems like probably the smallest town, more like a village, the smallest place settlement you've been to so far on your on your in the civilized side of, of Keldar. Um, it's a village surrounded by a bunch of uh, farms and fields. You notice as you pass by that some of the farms are being rebuilt as they've gotten destroyed um, before, and they're just in the process of rebuilding. Um, and you get to a small village that is basically in the center. There's like a small circle, like a small like circle around a square with a bunch of structures and, and buildings and you know, a tavern, a shop, uh, some kind of, of, of like a bigger house that seems important, a couple of other things. And then around that is just like a, it's a surrounded by some like smaller looking homes. And as you enter the, the, the perimeter or right, right before, um, the people in this village should refer to me as happy, not Valor, so just, no, don't say my name. That's a cute name. Imagine, like, fucking, like, giggles to himself. <laughs> so you say we're happy? We already know, jolly. What's a... Maybe he's uh, get along. As, as perhaps it's a... I don't know, it's the, 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 the way tieflings kind of hmm. work, I guess, the, the names. Excuse me. Well, you're not really uh, the, the big. Oh, no, 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 you know, if anything, it makes you special, right? And that's kind of what you go for anyway. I'm not sure if I'm less or more offended. Well, when you figure it out, let me know. But, I mean, there are... What you're describing, the more, like... Hellish tieflings. Like, yes. not all of them have vanity names. Like, I know it's a thing, but... Yeah, no, it's definitely, like I said, the more traditional... Uh, as in the sense of, um, you know the origins of tieflings as a whole like people that are closer to that side of things tend to go for that sort I don't of know, I've never convention really, i've never really looked into my tiefling ancestry how how the fuck does one look into their tiefling ancestry well, a quick trip to hell will do the trick yeah i think i might pass on that one oh it's it's not that bad you know the the, the name you know the name had 
the nine hells gives off this very negative connotation. Actually, some of the areas are quite nice if you... Well, quite nice for me as a tiefling. Maybe not so much for... this bunch of people, but... Eh, you're not here to make friends, are you? I'm just saying that some of you might be... might get abducted and sold as slaves on the market. That's all I'm saying. What's the going rate for slaves on the black market? I heard this, this crazy story about there was this Asimar once that got sold for next to nothing, which is hasn't happened since, but it's quite a, it's quite a talk on, on in some circles nowadays. Yes. I think I've met like two Asimar in my life and one of them is quite scary, but I've never slept with an Asimar yet. Is it on your bucket list? No, but now you mention it, I feel like I should. So it's more like a fuck it list to like... me, but. All right, so happy. Anyway. I am. <laughs> thank you for asking. Oh, I don't think I am right now, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Just don't say valid. That's all I ask. Right, so we're going to Happy's house. Hmm. This place is quaint. I don't blame you setting up a little. Yes, you it's, know, uh, it's small, it's it's quiet, I've, I've done my, you know, officially moved in a couple of years ago, the, the people know me, you know, I've done my best to blend in with the community, help out and all that, and um, as far as I'm aware, non nobody of the uh, nightweb should know that I reside here, so it's a place I'd like to go to when I need a break from it all, and then... You know, sometimes I have this, you know, you can ask a Lanzarin, I've had this habit of just disappearing for a few days here and there without really any explanation, and this is typically what I, or the places like this is what I went, you know, it's fucking places I could lay low. A holiday home. Yeah, I have, I have a couple spread around, well, not just this continent, but also, you know, the kingdoms and the empire. I'm going to sign to Dagon. Mm -hmm. Um, This place is on the map for... Crimson hideouts or oh. stash houses. Do you think we'd Scored. be able to find someone to send a message to his excellence? Oh, about boy. Yeah, because we found Yeah, I'm just trying to remember if he told us any specific way to communicate that or if it was fine. Cause I know when we get back to the ship, there's Vera and she seems higher ranking than Someone we might find here. Therefore, True. more likely to have means of communication. Sure. Me. I say we wait till we get to the, on the boat. Okay. But we can definitely, maybe, if you're low on any supplies. I did up. break a few lockpicks. Yeah. <laughs> it was worth it, though. Do they do this a lot where they suddenly just start? <laughs> talking to each other like that yeah. and you all just kind of stand around you know acting like nothing's I'm, going I'm on I'm trying really hard to learn but I've got about 10 words so far I speak like 5 or 6 languages but I, 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 this is fascinating can I, I ask you I, a really I, I, weird oh go ahead, go ahead can I ask you a really weird personal question that I've never really bothered to ask anyone else since we were talking about tieflings talking to me? yeah yeah yeah, the yeah. only other tiefling here. Sure. What's the whole deal with the just innate infernal thing? Well, we are infernal beings at our, at our core, at our heritage. It's just, you know, we come but from the hells, it's not, so we speak the language of the hells. It is. Um, it's not like a, a learned thing. It's just like. No, it is. You know how certain. Uh, clerics, for instance, they they have this, or or sorcerers is a good example of this like innate bloodline determined way of of being able to cast spells and and whatnot. Tieflings are kind of the same. It's because uh, pretty much every tiefling has a connection to some infernal lord, whether that's Asmodeus or or Zariel or whoever, and that in connection makes it so that upon birth we instead of, you know, some of us um, are also able to because of our infernal legacy, able to you know, do some extra magic -y things you know, uh, make your voice boom very very loud uh, set uh, someone on fire 
that 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 seems to you know that harmed you and things I like that. Can't do either of those. I can. You can like turn your you can disguise yourself. Right, okay, yourself, but though. like you said, you you maybe your connection is a little less. Um, but at the core of all Where of that is again? language. It's uh, it's just something written in our in our being. I don't know. It's just it's. I can do this. And I'll cast minor illusion, and wherever, wherever Lazarin is in the group, just behind him, he hears General Kron's voice go, "Boo!" <laughs> he just cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I suppose it's maybe also in some way connected to. I uh, magic's out of my. I'm my more of the, the, the more, like you said, you know, the more traditional, you know. Uh, Thaumaturgy, uh, setting fuckers on fire, that's hit me with a bit, like, whatever. To um, be honest, I've never really cared that much until... Are you, this, if this is crossing a line, um, and I don't mean anything by this, but are you, you know, a full-blood tiefling, or perhaps, like, do you know? But we're... You know, your parents? I have no idea. Uh, okay, well, maybe... No, well, maybe only one of your parents was a tiefling, and that's why you're... That's a little less in touch with that side of your legacy, maybe? A, a heritage? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. That's... <clears throat> I'm not too sure how, uh, how it works um, when it comes to, you know... Um, I just, I've just never really parents. cared before, and then you brought up the whole vanity names thing, and I mean, I didn't mean uh, anything by it, right? So just uh, no, no, I get offend. that. I just there's not really like a a tiefling museum in Eldalon, you know what I mean? Like not anywhere else, to be fair. <laughs> might be in the hells. Well, mm, in the hells, there's a lot more creatures that are way more interesting than tieflings. Trust me. Mm. You really do. No, you don't. Sounds fun. You don't. You don't. I feel like I would get myself into a lot of trouble in the house. Well, judging the way you are, you'd probably end up seducing a succubus and pissing off. It's, it's... Do you do you seduce a succubus or does a succubus seduce you? Well, typically they seduce you, but you know if you play cards right, who knows? Anyway, I... you are. You've got to be on some sort of. Come on. Come what? on. Who the fuck? That's such like a fucking Kess thing to say. Oh, I seduced a fucking succubus. What do you mean a Kess thing to say? That's such a Kess thing to say. You no, you what? can't just say no, it again what? and not explain what that means. After I filled the house with chickens and burnt half the village down, I seduced a succubus and then went to the pub and waited for it all to blow over. Like, fuck off. <laughs> I just and then everyone started kiss. clapping. I signed a guess. I think he means something that is both random and usually unbelievable by that statement. No, I'm not saying I've I've seduced a succubus. I'm saying it's it's probably possible in theory. It's hard, but it's not impossible, right? If you're at the point that you yeah, think you've seduced said. a succubus, then the succubus has already done her job, right? That's the point. I don't know. Maybe they have personal preferences. Yeah, maybe they do. I don't know. I've maybe never... a succubus has a type. Either way, from what I've heard, as soon as, you know, the cutlass is in the scabbard, you're dead, right? Your soul gets sucked out. Somewhere. Well, no, that's not exactly what. Do I still die if I do it with an incubus? Because that's an option as well. Um, I think so. I can't say I have, but, um, you know, they, they like to over-exaggerate a lot of the, you know, the the, the 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 tales they tell on this plane regarding hellish creatures, um, eighty percent of which is probably true, but uh, you know. they they do the same thing. Anyway, uh, going you know we digress, but as far as legacy goes, you you were able to speak infernal is just because you're a tiefling. It's just because of your connection to what we are and our origins. Even if you're a weak one. Even if he's not a proper tiefling or That's whatever. That's not what I said.
What Stop do you think my vanity name would be, Dagon? Your what name, sorry? My vanity name. Uh, don't know. Thinking face. Because I, <laughs> I, and I just signed a cast. I mean, all the names that I think fit are ones that are already taken. Like, we've met them. Because things that come to mind are, like, jolly and pleasure. But do we, those exist. She says, whole. I just laugh, but then I'll just like gentle no. <laughs> when we've got some downtime, we should. They're what? They're 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 feelings, right? Their names are either fe like feelings, emotions, or because like Valor's not really an emotion, but it's like a. It's a. It's like it's, a it's, it's like, it's of character. It's um. Both. <laughs> it 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 has to do with um. It, it can it's be like an happy emotion. and jolly or moods, can be... emotions, valors, like a... Um, stand for as well, eight. right? Can be just the, like... the names are derived from, from the seven heavenly virtues, as they're called. So you have inner okay. peace, compassion, wisdom, charity, diligence, patience, justice. And those have a bunch of like sub-branches with words that have something to do with one of those. And that's where they come from. So that's... Oh, it's, it's, like a, it's like a thing you aspire to be. So when of. Brooks is somehow thrill. <laughs> mm. So a is that one? Is what I aspire uh, so, uh, to be. Someone says something you aspire to be. I just sign to Kess Virtuous. Interesting. Interesting probably wouldn't make a great Bad no, name, not the but... name. <laughs> she says she more. Said, she said virtuous. Well, what the fuck does virtuous mean? <laughs> Vala, what the fuck does virtuous? <laughs> <laughs> Mister non-English. Like, Everybody dumb. Mister uh, English second language. What does virtuous uh, mean? My cock. <laughs> oh god, you don't know. I, I just, I'll, I'll just write down. And like writing it out in like very High blocky standard. letters, like almost for a kid, and with like the like phonetically almost but virtuous Whitest. colon, and then like, um, like high moral standards, someone others look <laughs> up to. I feel like maybe something along the lines of you know jaunty or something like that. Um... What like I'm a fucking accordion playing fucking pirate. That's. <clears throat> I don't know, oh, be we'll drunkard, a, I don't know. We'll have a, we'll have a jointy little tune and we'll go down to... Or, this conversation's going I'll scratch over. it out now and just write humor as your new name. Your new tiefling. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. That's <laughs> not a snake. That's not a good the one, thing. perhaps. Mockery. Oh, God. Definitely I was not, definitely trying not to modesty. be nice and insightful, but y'all want to ruin it. Idiot. So. I'm modest. I'm dressed right now. Freak. <laughs> in a way, in a way... Loser. You know, in a way, nobody is also a, a, a vanity virtue name. Like saying you're the most humble. The humblest. Narcissist. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, if anyone's taking that vanity name, it is not me. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think purity is on the list of potential names for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's just pure. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna have to keep laughing, you know. Like, like we get it. Pure is a clear pond with a dead squirrel in it. <laughs> okay, I've had enough of this conversation. I only asked Dagon. The rest of you can do one. Well, you didn't like my answer, so. Right. And I, have to I don't know what you're I'll saying. You, I'll bring it to my house. There's pl plenty of room for all of you to uh to, to sleep and and have some. We'll have some. I should have some supplies in the. Pantry, maybe. How long has it been since I've been here? Few, maybe not. Uh, I'll just sign to guess. Should we tell them we need to to, to like make a, a pit stop a somewhere? How do we? How do we, we can, cover it? We can go sign language. To the, we, yeah, um, sign language back. We could go to the safe house and then we know where it is, so we can go out and then come back. Sure, we'll go out at night or something. Oh, grab it. Right, for me. And they, uh, he will guide you to one of the houses on the, uh, like, like in the circle around the structures in the in the middle. And 
opens up, you know, whips out a key, like a very small key from, um, like, takes his, he takes his left boot off, and it's like, oh, let's hope they fucking didn't search my boots for anything. I was gonna and say, imagine they take, take, took take his boot and takes the key out, let it be gone. Opens up the front door and kind of motions you all to go in. And the house looks very, very basic, plain, not really any, like, extravagant decorations. It's very much, uh, if anyone ever were to, like, break in here, it needs to look like a normal fucking, normal, plain Jane house. You know, oh, a yeah. fucking... The comfiest chair. And I sit in it and I put my feet up. Yeah, make yourself at home. Um, welcome to my humble abode. Um, I'll see, maybe... I... Maybe the neighbors will have some some food because I doubt anything in the pantry is up to snuff. Um, so I'll quickly go have a check, and then in the meantime, you guys just you know make yourself at home, and uh, should be some should be a, a, a vat of of of, of um of, so was it meat or ale? There's some kind of alcohol that's been sitting fermenting in the basement for a, a good while now. Right. Probably gained some age um, ever since it's been there, but this should be fine. We'll do. I'll do be I right back. Know how many days there are in awesome? I never remembered the rhyme. Oh, you know. Awesome you just do the awesome knuckle thing and you'll figure it out. I, I never learned the knuckle thing. Me neither. I think there's we 31. Just, what, what, is, had, what is the knuckle thing? We just had a calendar. What's, what's the knuckle thing? I teach you know, like, guess the thing where it's like you count the months like this and then the ones in between your knuckles only have 30 and the ones that would hit your knuckles would have 31 and you just what the hell? weird <laughs> how many how many days does awesome have mr dm and now it's literally uh fucking uh, august right yeah which is so. 31 right i'm not crazy pretty yeah. sure yeah yeah oh fuck me uh the knuckle thing works more, in ds <laughs> one more week to go on the uh the meat that I've made. Two minutes go by and um, Valor comes back and uh, shuts the door behind him. He's carrying like two loaves of bread, some cured meat, some some like a like a big wedge of cheese. It's not much, but it will do, right? It's not uh, like that stew we had last night, but um, it beats eating dried food rations and nuts. What sort of meat you got, any ham? Sure. To make sandwiches, then I guess. And maybe uh, you know, light up the fire, yeah. make a little ham and cheese. Uh... Absolutely, they're all the all the rage. But so, what would you use to cut the sandwich? I have a hand axe. I have a couple. Of, I start putting down like two hand axes, four daggers, like a fucking scene where it's like all your weapons. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like the dagger would be. One of the daggers should probably do, moment. right? I have like a, a small knife in my mess kit as well. There we go. That'll do. It seems more like All an right. empire thing than kingdom. Anyone here up for a ham and cheese sandwich? Sure. Sure. Yeah. And uh. Fucking eating Simple ham and cheese toasties, toasties, dude. Fuck it. Fuck it. Hell yeah. So I put uh, on the table, by the way, three daggers, ten darts. Three hand axes, a crowbar, and a hammer. <laughs> Wild. I just like to think the crowbar you like probably like just take out from like under your shirt. Full yeah. Light. <laughs> from like one of his uh, fucking like the crowbar's sleeve, down his fucking trousers. Down his trousers like yeah. Of course. <laughs> and the ones that every time you walk you go ow. It just screams against your leg like ow. <laughs> All right, no. so um, there's just been like a really weird bulge in his pocket. You're going off pirating. <laughs> Yeah. Are you, um, you know, we're going the Lazar in particular, you're definitely still being, you know, going to try and find you and me for that matter, but I know how to keep myself hidden. Only reason I got caught was because I, you know, <laughs> let's just say my curiosity got the best of me. Listened into a few meetings that I wasn't supposed to listen into and... That won't happen again. I trust you enough to uh, stay away and keep below. 
Well, I'm not gonna stay up entirely. I'm gonna try and find out names, locations of people above my pay grade, and perhaps, you know, can make this a, a joint effort to cause a bit of ruckus in their organization, in their ranks. You know, as time, you know, if an opportunity like that arises. Which, given how this is all strangely connected, probably will. Indeed. Keep in contact. Let us know if you find anything. I mean, if you don't, do find not come anything. with us for pirating. Maybe mm -hmm. finding out some of the specifics about the names on that list would be a good Ooh. way to pass the time. True. True. Um. We know that a couple of them have been targeted by assassins. We know mm. at least that much. And if that's anything to go on, it might be worth warning some of the others. But we also don't want to give away that we know. And if not even warning, at least seeing if anything's changed. Behavior. I suppose. Um... Well, Tranliel, they Tranliel had an attempt on her life and fucking... Geoffrey Gregerson's dead, I can tell you that much. <sighs> Seemed like an accident, though. It's well, a pit. Accident. So that is, that is what they do. Well, two of the names on that list are in the Empire, right? This, uh... Well, we know Peter is. We met Peter is. Oh. Try and Leo. Tranliel's on the list. Of course, Tranliel is. I, I was part thinking of this if I'm going to try and create some distance, you know, to lay low, maybe I should start with the people off continent. Um, Sounds good. Pretty sure two like, of those uh, names on the list. No, I mean, like the Nicole guy. Nicole. Yes, and um, was there someone else on that list? I'm, I'm pretty sure it was another another name, right? Was. Uh, you know. You know. Right. Um, yeah, doesn't yeah. She, uh, Chop, she runs this Chop, this this, this like, chain of shops, doesn't she? Oh, no. Anyone? Anyone? All right. Well, I'm pretty sure both of them, if I'm lucky enough, can be found relatively close to each other. So I'll start there and shadow them for a bit. See what I can find out. See if I can decide whether they, you know, have turned or are targets for, well, whether they're turned to them or marked for death. Yeah. It's a good place to stop. I, um... I he'll, like... <clears throat> hold on. And he'll... Can't make this shit up, dude. Um, Brooks. Do you mind quickly getting out of my chair? <laughs> Just real quick. You can sit back down after. Just real quick. Oh, fuck. Everything yeah. hurts from yesterday. Just two seconds is all I ask. Fine. Have you got a bath? No. Does anywhere in this fucking town He's have a bath? He's still sitting in my chair. I get up out of the fucking chair. If you hadn't, to be fair. Um, he, like, moves over to, to this chair. And lifts up the, lifts up the, like, the seat. And you can see that on the bottom of it, it's opened. And he just kind of like goes in there and pulls something out, puts put the, the like cushion down. And uh, just pockets it. It's my way out without being detected. I uh, should be able to reach the Empire come morning. And uh, just lay low there for a while. Obviously, oh. me and Elanzer will be able to send the occasional message to one another just to keep tabs but I want to uh, definitely thank you all for the help bring back souvenirs or something for the next time we uh, cross paths love me a souvenir sure and uh, just yeah uh, I would, pff, who knows how long they would have kept me there in that fucking hole in the wall quite literally if you hadn't found me so very yeah, grateful. 
bring the we'll, energy right back. Uh, have a few drinks. And then tomorrow morning, well, we'll go separate ways for now, but we'll see each other it's again. It's not sure. being trapped in a dungeon anymore, eh? Hmm. Yes to that. Hmm. Right, and we'll say that you guys have an evening of, of relaxation, have a couple couple bevies. Uh, do you have any points? Uh, you guys probably, you know, end up going finding a place to sleep in the house. Is this where Tiger and Kess would like to try and? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Brooks what we're gonna do. Yeah. Wanna come? Okay. Uh, I mean, do you want me to come? Do you want me to fucking keep the door on the latch or, you know? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't care. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll come. Okay. Onwards. Gonna try and find the stash house. Are we <clears throat> just sneaking out? Are we gonna lock the door behind us, or are we? Oh. I mean, I could pick it open again. We could just borrow the key. Oh, but that's boring. Yeah, but it's sensible. That's why it's boring. Well, how are you gonna lock it from the outside? I can pick it. <laughs> I don't even know if you can lock a door with a lockpick. I'm not sure, uh, to be honest. Like, how would you'd have to unset the tumblers, I guess? Can, you can, yeah, you can do, do it, but you need, like, the other fucking tool bit. Oh, and... the twisty bit, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and all that, you'd have to, like. Hit of the lockpick, I can't, I can't remember what it's called. And, like, the, that, whatever. Should we tell anyone else, or are we just gonna. Ah. Uh. Not no, supposed obviously, to. obviously, don't tell them what we're actually doing, but I mean, should we tell them we're going out or just let them potentially wake up and panic? Let them panic. We'll be fine. And I also send back to Cass, I mean, to relay to Brooks, this is a pretty small town. Not like there's much nightlife. I think it'd be more weird if we mentioned we were going out when there isn't really much to do. I will relay this. Oh, we might be going on a nighttime stroll. I might be chaperoning the two of you on a fucking day. I don't fucking know. I'm sure we could come up with some bullshit. Let's just go. Me and Cass are going to fucking... I don't know. I would just sign to Cass. That's, uh, that's stupid. Obviously, I'd be chaperoning you two on a date. Let's be real. Who says that she's not chaperoning us two on a date? I would be a terrible chaperone. We know exactly. that's quite funny. No, oh, okay. Alright, so you are you trying to sneak out or yeah, yeah. make yeah. some stealth checks then? Ooh. Nice. I got oh my, no. My dark colored suit. Nice. Oh no. I have a good modifier, but I rolled poorly. I rolled pretty okay. Twenty two. I got I got a ten. I got a twenty two. Hey. Oh, we nearly all matched. Nearly. Two okay. out of three, no jackpot. You, <laughs> you, you leave the uh, house. As you like, close the door behind you. You can just see Valor leaning against the wall outside with like a pipe, like like a like a pipe in his mouth. Going What's anywhere? <laughs> we are going to see if there is an active swinging community in the town. Are you coming? Sure. <laughs> God damn it! Look what you've done. <laughs> we'll just start walking, and as we're walking, because it looks weird if we all just freeze now awkwardly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's kind um, of awkward anyway. I, even though it was what you were doing. It is. It is. It is. What? I'll it just is um, <laughs> sign to Kess. Um, we could always just try and. Somehow tell Brooks to distract Valor with more tiefling talk when we get to where we're going, and then we go inside, and then come back out and be like, ah, there's nothing there, and then go home. He'll, like, walk with you for, like, a few feet, and then 
Guys, I'm well aware you don't want me to tag along with you. Alright, it's not very hard to read that off your body language. <laughs> I, I, d I look very sheepish because I feel like we're being rude, so like, head kind of but, uh, forward, shoulders up a bit. What are you up to bit. anyway? Maybe I can send you in the right direction. I was actually joking. We're just, uh... We have an old friend. Well, I say we. These two have an old friend. That's oh, really? here. Somewhere, but... We don't know what name they're using, and we don't know. So we're just going to go for a wander. An old friend, you don't know what name they're using, and you don't know where they live. Just like yeah. anyone that didn't know you as happy. Try um three houses down. Ask for Claudia. Would that coincide with where it's Kess's map is marked, by any chance? Well, the map doesn't mark specifically what building. No. It never does. It always just oh, shows oh, that, just that there's the someone town. in that town that has that connection. What do you make, true, what makes true, you true. think that it's this body person? Sensing a vibe. Plus, I know I'm back on checks every single person that lives in this town before I decided to move here. I know exactly what she does and who she's affiliated with. Is she single? <laughs> I think her husband Oops, sorry. Uh, did pass away a few years ago, so maybe play a card right? Yes. How old is she? Uh, late 30s, early 40s. I can make that work. <clears throat> okay. Sure. Thanks for the help. We'll uh, we'll be back in a bit. Do you follow his advice? Or his suggestion, rather? Yeah, why not? I don't see why yeah. not. We trust him. Exactly. Okay. Nah. So you go three houses down, do you just like um but what do you do when you approach the house? Uh I'm gonna check and see if there's any like symbols or anything. It's just a house. It's yeah, not it's just like a house, a yeah. tavern or That's okay. sick. Uh make an investigation check. Woo! 19. 19. You don't see any, like, markings in, like, the wood, as you've previously seen, but you do notice that there's an upstairs window, and there's a particularly shaped red flower, like, on the window still. Okay. This is the place. <clears throat> who's, uh, who's gonna knock me, or you, or... I knock! <laughs> oh, and as, while we're waiting for her to answer, I decided to guess, you remember the, the phrase, right? The, the, the... The, 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 the thing. <laughs> the thing. The, the special words. Laura stutters. Dagon doesn't. Yeah. Dagen yeah. Of what she thinks for the sign. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, didn't that only apply at the Lily Eeping Mug? It probably does, because it wouldn't, context wise, it'd be a weird thing to say here. But just in case they ask us, I can't mm. say it, so. Just check in. I feel like I'm missing out. Uh, not really. All right, wait for sure not answer on door. I'm sure Diagon is. Uh, a so you knock, uh, yeah. Cass? Yes. You hear like a like a, and the door like. Huh? Hello. I think we have some friends in common. That's so. Uh. His Excellence, for one. You don't just say the thing out loud. Do I need, do I need to remind you that the reason I'm in all of this is because someone else threw that name about and is now in the bad books? I don't know what yeah, you're talking obviously about. Yeah, And else not. No, the other about. thing is only it... applies to the Weeping Mug, I swear. I say, say it anyway, say it anyway. Oh, as special as it pleases our lake. You are new, aren't you? <laughs> no, only a little bit. I'm not a tailor, but I'm the tailor. <laughs> <laughs> what did you need? The door, like now, opens up further to reveal this. This, yeah, human woman. Uh, long blonde hair, just like wearing like a, night, a nightgown. Not you, Sam. Is attractive? <laughs> sure, man. 
<clears throat> that's like, yeah, do. whatever. Everyone's hot. Not used to receiving guests at this hour, so excuse the oh, getter. Sorry, I just signed back. We're sorry. So you should know not to just mention his name out and about. Right? <laughs> I did tell. I'm tired. I realized because I had my brain fart earlier. I then re-remembered that, oh yeah, if she's part of this, she also probably speaks sign language. And I say, yeah, she she forgets. She She's kind of tight with Elsa Nil, so it's, she forgets that she has to follow rules like the rest of us sometimes. People have been stabbed for less, you know? No, I'm aware. I can, I can I've been stabbed for less. True, actually. A couple of times, actually. I'll blame it on the fact that you're relatively new. Don't let it happen again. Yeah. What? Can I get some get muppets, please? Yeah, I have a few. Anything else? I double check my belt with all the vials. I still, I'm still good for. I have poison. I have a healing potion. I'm like, I wouldn't mind one more healing potion if you have any spare. I have a couple laying around. Yes. Yeah. What about you, good sir? Need anything? Actually, I was gonna ask if you knew that there was someone else in town who knows about your uh, You're gonna affiliations. Get in trouble. Get in trouble. Well. You're gonna ruin his safe house. <coughs> yeah, you're really burning the man's safe house. What the fuck? Yeah, fuck uh, you, I'm on the Fuck around to find out. Um, no, I wasn't, but it's good to know. Might be something that's worth the person I have in mind is good people, and it's not something to worry about, but the fact that it's something that someone's able to pick up on might be something that you want to amend. Appreciate that, sir. Alright, I'll go get your stuff for you, and then... Worry about that other shit in the morning. And she'll fuck off, comes back, hands you the requested goodies. All right. Anything else? This might be no. a really weird request. Oh, oh no. Do you have anything sweet? As in candy or? Literally. We've had fucking dry rations today and then blood fucking ham and cheese sandwiches. And we have not very much in the house we're staying at. I just signed to Claudia. I don't think he realizes what these these places are, are for. The type of well resources we're meant to be asking for. With six children running around, I do and tend to keep oh, some sweets. So sure, it's the first time somebody asked for that, but sure. I'm it's sure. the less less of a a club request, and more of a hey. She'll uh, dip into the kitchen, come back, and she'll hand you like a little, a uh, little piece of chocolate. That'll do. I'm happy. <laughs> All right. Well, pleasure making your acquaintance. Have a good night. night. I suppose. Night. I, we've never done that. I, I've never done this part. Do we introduce ourselves? Is like, is there a better way to do it next time? Well, don't blurt out. Names. I mean, no, even I knew that was stupid. Aliases. I will leave you. That, that phrase is pretty universal. No, okay. I was wrong. Which phrase is this? Has he not been informed? Uh, I've had like one group meeting so far and it felt a bit like a, like an alcoholics therapy thing. <laughs> Fresh off the boat. That's because you're an alcoholic. Oh, your friends can fill you in. But uh, mm -hmm. next time, or when meeting anybody, you know, yeah, that's what you use. You got it. All right. Ta-ta. Bye. I'm just like... <laughs> you know, for a woman who's had six kids... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I've got some chocolate. <laughs> so satisfied. All right. Uh, you Thank guys you. head back. Um, meantime, Valor has also gone inside, and you can see him napping in the chair. 
we'll say that you guys all have a a nice rest and we'll uh, pick things up next week. Val yeah. was asleep, he didn't wait up for us. Nah. Damn it. How many log picks did I get? Thieves rules? Whatever. Three. You got three because you asked for three. Yeah. All right. That was it. We're back, baby. Uh, thanks for watching, Woo! everybody. Appreciate you. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Pirates next week. Pirates session. next week. Pirate um, beach episode next week. Well, as long as we make it to stretch, stretch, stretch more to whatever place. Maybe you all get beach episode. Might not make it there. Who did I beach have on the docket for discourse before we took uh, our hiatus? I think it was me and Koibi, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Good, because definitely want to keep Koibi on. No. Um, so we'll just do that same duo for this Thursday then, if that's uh, right. Oh, that's that works. Good. It might be I... a little later. That's fine. So? That's fine. Like if we have to shuffle around time like an hour here or there, that's fine. It doesn't really bother me too much. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the subs. Yeah. The real dog. Thanks for the follow. Bowdy, my boy. Thanks for the raid as well. Saw you. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, we out this. We were followed by a real dog. Bitch. Yeah. As opposed to all those fake dogs on Twitch. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're out of you. Big dogs out there. And uh, we'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Now slowly, like, fade out. Just like...